I'm calling from Los Angeles, and I'm having a little problem under the name That Umbrella Guy. I sent him my phone number at least 20 times in the chat and told him to call me. And told him to call me. Mm-hmm. Um, he ignored me. Or I'm a man. I filed the report. If you guys could take a look at it and give me a call back, I would love to, to hear what you guys can do to help us. We really, huh, yeah. we, we really need to kind of stop this guy at least until Monday. I told him to call me. Or I'm a man. And I'm your one. Be so walk by smoke clips and they done. Yeah, stronger than the tide. I'm the wave maker. When it comes to false accusers, I'm the clay breaker. They wanna wreck me, girl. When it comes to false accusers, I'm the clay breaker. They wanna wreck me, but I'm not backing down. Rolling through their hoods, bumping my own sound. Monetize the haters, rain and ice and platinum grills. Pure determination, dropping these mic skills. I love how every song has like some subliminal platinum thing about you know it's got another whispering about platinum grills or something. <laughs> hey Tug. Uh, hey how Megan. I'm doing good. How are you doing today, Megan? Well, I'm I've developed a new habit that I can't break, and it's called AI music making. I know it's addictive as shit. You yeah. know it's really bad. Right now you're playing with one of them, but it it's sometime you're gonna be like, you know what? I think I can make it this better and then you're going to start wanting to run it through more programs and sooner or later after a few months you'll be like me and running it through five programs seeing if i've been i've been playing with a i'm trying to find one that will allow me to do chorus you know like a male female switch up and Uh (laughs) i'm i'm i think i'm getting a little bit uh i think i'm getting carried away (laughs) i wrote a hit today i literally wrote a hit like i wrote a song that could be played in any club and the whole place would go nuts and it's called tramp stamp lawyer oh my god that the sounds, club version that sounds pretty sexy i also wrote another one called hashtag yikes that <laughs> that is it's amazing as a rap like it's just amazing i i'm like i'm I can't do anything else. I was trying to write this article, which I finally got published today, but last Mm. night I had it halfway written. And then I started playing around with Suno for whatever reason. 
And then I was like sucked into it. It was 3 a.m. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, crap. Yeah, that V3 it, is pretty nice. You know, V2 is, uh, and they, their first one was difficult. V2 is better, but V3 is pretty user friendly, you know. V3 is, I can't believe that I plugged in some lyrics and it wrote me a song in 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. That is better than what I hear on the radio. Oh, yeah. That, uh, that's what I've been saying. You know, music as we know it is done. You know, they'll, they'll still in, there's still a an industry that they'll inflate. But as far as making it, you don't have to have any musical talent anymore. AI is going to destroy what we know is the music industry. Good. It needs to be yeah, destroyed. It needs to. I mean, you look at all the abuses. Look at people like P. Diddy and look at all the insanity that's followed in that wake. And some of that stuff, you know, I realize accusations. I, I very much realize there's a lot of stuff there. Some of it, some of it, who knows, but some of it's been around a while and has quite a bit of proof behind it. You know, I mean, yeah, ah, that guy, Lord, I mean, he's been into everything. Yeah, I think that it's going to make a real big difference in how music goes forward because it's it blew my mind. I played some for my daughter because I must uh -huh. have done like 25 versions of each uh -huh. song. And I just let it roll for my my kid and she was blown away. She was like, "What?" Yeah, that's amazing. I made a I made some pretty good pop songs. I was mixing them in to see how well they were, so I was mixing them into uh, what we listened to in the car. And the, the kids couldn't tell the difference. They thought, mm -hmm. hey, this is a, you know, <laughs> this is just a, a good song. And uh, so I was awesome. like, hell yeah. Hey, check this out, by the way. Dead Punk made this. Uh, oh, my God. You'll like this since you're talking about old Tramp Stamp Lawyer. I sent this over to you. But mm, isn't that good? <laughs> my, my triplets. So funny. This is so funny. I love it. Oh, yeah, he's like uh, <laughs> Hey there, folks. Are you looking to sue someone? Did you mistake indigestion for labor pains? Do you want a baby, but no one will touch you without a hazmat suit and a bottle of liquor? Well, we're in luck. Now we have Tug's Home Fake Pregnancy Test, you know? Warning, though. Warnings may cause side effects such as perjury, incrimination, incarceration, loss of appetite, hysterical crying, posting stupid things on social media, turning the frogs <laughs> gay, global warming. Turning the frogs gay. <laughs> Men are scum, movie and lifetime network, uh, <laughs> accidental pregnancy through tonsils, and amber turning. Consult Dr. Megan Fox for further instruction. <laughs> <laughs> you have the little like ones. Putting chemicals in the water <laughs> to turn the friggin' frogs gay. <laughs> they have the ba there's baby. She's like, Daddy squishy, and then you have a little. Like, I love, I love that one. Therapy. Daddy squishy. I love the I love the facial expression there. It's like, oh god, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> so dead good. punk, by the way. Props to dead punk. Some of his stuff is hilarious. Oh, it's mm. so good. It's that's so, so good. good. That's so sexy. That's a good look for me right there. Mm. So we have so much to get to today. I don't even know where to start. Oh, Lord. Okay. Which, uh, which, which subject you want to hit first? Actually, let's hit the ground running today. What we're going to do, let's laugh at the continuation from yesterday. Let's laugh at the joke list for a minute. Okay. That's always easy. Yeah. Talk <laughs> about low hanging fruit. <laughs> That's definitely a freaking <laughs> fruit, man. <laughs> I mean. You're my blueberry pancake on a hill far away. Dude, Sorry. Me, you know, that's my jam. <laughs> 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 Give me a second. I'm loading this into the uh, man. I've been looking through like half the there's some weird stuff in there, you know. Like when I was making fun of Amica cream, I was like, it can fix that, it can fix that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh this one though oh man this is magical would you like to read this oh sure All i would right. love to read it let's see april 17th 2024 groupie love tug thug interviews madam mayor actress good thing i recorded all my interactions with the town and i on the docs, Madam Mayor assisted, and so much more that will all be published. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> she has the same problems as 
J-H-N-G, problems with everyone and lying about everyone. Madam Mayor, the only audio files missing are the audio files you destroyed after I requested the public record audio files. Love struck? Space case? Are uh, you high? <laughs> I'm here for the innocent victims. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned, Madam Mayor. <laughs> Stay tuned. I'm, oh I've God. been tuned for a long time, and I still haven't seen an article come I, out. I know. I mean, we've been waiting, like, how long now? <laughs> Since the beginning of this. Oh, she she apparently took some uh, real umbrage with being called uh, a space case. <laughs> a space case. Yeah, she called her a space case, and she said she she felt like she was like love struck by <laughs> for for her and for uh, for Jeremy, and she's like space case. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> this isn't even the best one though. Oh, this, this although is... I don't understand this sentence, and I have all the evidence on the docs. Madam Mayor assisted. What the docs? She say, she say Madam. She dox somebody is that i what guess that she assisted in a doxing or something i don't, I don't know man i mean I read, it's so hard to make <sighs> heads or tails out of this crazy you know what i mean but <laughs> yeah she said uh there were audio files so last night you know, i did that interview with madam mayor i don't know if you had a chance to hear i only get to see a little bit uh i was busy last night with with the kiddos but i only got to see a little bit oh man it it, it filled in so many gaps. I mean, it it answered quite a few things that I, I had been wondering about. You know, and it, it kind of gives you an outsider perspective outside of Jeremy Hale, you know, and outside of George. And, and you know, we're talking about, again, the mayor at one time of this place telling you. And the thing it reminded me of is that the stuff going on with John Cook and Lynette that isn't actually the main story. The main story is a story of corruption. Mm, That's what mm -hmm. we're talking about. And all these corrupt people ended up backing this, you know, this, this insane woman because she's a, she's a great weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. And also there was like this, this whole side story too, about, I know about the water being unsafe and jeremy brings attention to that and you know finds this incredible story in this little town and tries to help this town clean up their water and nobody wants to do that you know like he's causing too much trouble Did you um, i gotta re-watch the whole thing though um because that would be great i i hear it was really good everybody says it was good yeah madam mayor talked about um some of the Hey, you know, I was asking about the whole water thing. Is it a is it a power thing? You know, is it a, is it a monetary thing? And she was talking about some of the things uh, this person, you know, has alleged done. And she said, you know, for herself, he tried to proposition her for uh, for sexual activity. You know, basically in exchange for not trying to destroy what? her and her husband's life. What? Yeah, I was like, holy shit! You Did know, he do I that in in writing? No, apparently he tried to set it up through her, uh, through her, I guess not. I don't know if they were married at the time. I think then rolling up to being husband, you know, but, uh, wow. yeah, I mean, that's crazy. You know, Hey, I'll destroy you and I'll destroy everything you've been. No wonder she left. quit. No wonder yeah. she wanted out of there. Yeah. I mean, you know, they, they ended up, um, belling on the, you know, they didn't really, they bailed on the position because they had, you know, that the, they had to, but then they, they got out of town and then they come back, you know, so they didn't really bail on the town. That'd be the wrong words, but they got the hell out of the actual proximity there where they can control them. And that was smart. You know, you don't, you don't yeah. want to be trapped there. Mm -mm. Up there Jeremy and George are in the chat. What's up? What the hails? Yeah. What's up there? Yeah. Actually, uh, I don't know. I, I thought that. It reminded me again. Every time we look at this this stuff, you know, we we focus on John Cook or Lynette, or we we focus on you know laughing at the joke list, and that's fun. I mean, it's fun to you know point at them, and they are an important story because of the litigation and what they've done to to the hills. But it didn't start because of that, you know. It started because of something 
far more insidious in a lot of ways and something that's become the norm there. Yeah, it's a very strange place, Levy County. Oh, God, this one's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I, I clipped all of that. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I love it. This is going to be so fun. Oh, uh, lots of blah Are blah blah. Are you ready? Oh right. yeah, you want to you want to hit that night and wonderful voice, by the way. Lots of blah 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 boo hoo goo. Does anybody <laughs> have a pacifier? He's going after our hero again. Elderly council member Don and his family, as well as the former mayor and his family, who was illegally removed from office by actress mayor and her bestie strong man, who claims commands that a weak mayor can appoint an elected official's term with the assistance of the new town airplane attorney, ML, and rap sheet vice with a rap sheet as long as his driveway and threatens more BS legal harm and makes sickening low down untrue accusations against him. I just have to say for the record, <laughs> I would like to tell the Jokalist that you are getting your side of this story broadcast to an audience you could never dream of. That's by true. the way. You so know, you it, should be thanking us that we are telling them, you know, your version of the truth or whatever this is. <laughs> she would, but unfortunately, you know, stay tuned. I mean, you know, again, you're going to go to the sun. <laughs> you know, we haven't had it go to anybody. I mean, anyway, go ahead. Also, I'm worried about Marla. Is she being stalked too? Why did he say she will be seen in court in both Ohio and Florida? WTF, and why is he grabbing every word she says like a wild card? She has every First Amendment right that he does and can state her opinions and research all day long if she wishes and without harassment. She is not a public figure like he is, J.H. thinks, and states I have no relevancy in this world, <laughs> yawn emoji, and he thinks I want more than anything to be famous. He thinks he can make me famous, whatever that is emoji. And he said, all I'll ever be is useless. He sure is hoping lots of boo hoo, blah, blah, poo, poo, goo, goo, nothing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, that's a Why lot does of she hurt. write like this? It's a, that is butt hurt. It? That is just butt hurt. Why does she write like this? Uh, I don't uh, Who writes poo poo goo goo? Lots poo -poo. of boo hoo, blah, blah, poo poo, goo goo, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Why the hell? <laughs> Mm. Who writes like this? That's and why? Cup. That is a coffee cup. It's gonna. It should say that. Lots of boo hoo, blah <laughs> blah blah, poo poo, 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 poo nothing. <laughs> yep. You know, how's your morning? Oh, it's a lot of, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of boo hoo, blah blah, poo poo, goo goo, nothings. Oh man. You know that could. Be I may have to write an AI song called "Boo hoo, blah blah." <laughs> No, you need to. Yeah, no, it needs to have the whole title. It needs boo to. hoo, blah blah, poo poo, goo goo, nothings. <laughs> yeah, you need to make it a boy band song. That like a, you know. He is upset because I'm fighting for the victims. Does he think his lies about me are going to change the file? He likes to pretend he's making me famous because he knows that I'm going to bring big attention without his help. He. <laughs> He skates over Madam Actress Mayor Talk, stating she did not fill out Form 6 and went on to sell the campground. But why didn't he mention she already knew she was selling the campground when she took office? I have a questions. questions. I have a questions. <laughs> I have a questions. Who isn't going to jail? Why is he accusing Michelle of more things she's not doing? Wait. Is Madam Mayor still on the show? <laughs> Stay strong, Don. The world supports our hero. Oh, my God. Emojis, that... world, and heart. That is beautiful. That is actually <laughs> beautiful. What's funny is that she writes in a way that no one could, who didn't 
who wasn't like super familiar with the story would have any idea what she was talking about. And so it makes her look like a psychotic person. Online. She does. It sounds like she's having a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> she's having a mental breakdown. And I mean, even the people who do know about this story, I don't know anything. Yeah. I don't have any clue what this, what any of this is about. <laughs> and I even know this story. Like I'm close to the story and it's like, what the hell? I saw the live stream. She's very dear. And I'm still like, what the fuck is she talking about? Well, you know, she would, she would detail it all. And she will. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Megan, she's a real journalist. Stay tuned. You, you don't know. You don't know. Oh, oh, oh. I I I guess I must believe her because she keeps saying stay tuned. And we all know that journalists' favorite saying is stay tuned and then nothing happens. <laughs> well what? I I never really thought about it, but she journals online, therefore she's a journalist. Hmm. Ah. You know, that's how she's coming up with it she's a bloggerist that's True. right she, is. she isn't even good at blogging she's only done it once I mean, <laughs> it's it's the longest weirdest fucking blog i mean Ooh, even i haven't wait, gotten to the bottom of that you know wait, I, we I need to it. we need okay. to compare her blog to david gingris's blog because i mean <laughs> <laughs> and which one is weirder I bet, I bet we could, I bet if we could put them both on match.com, I bet they would, they would get joined up. It's like 95%. Yeah. They could, they could blog at each other. Oh Lord. David would be like, Oh yeah. You remind me of the anti-Trump. And she'd be like, Oh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It'd be so sexy. You can imagine, man. Could you imagine the love notes passed between those two? Oh, it would be. Blah blah boo hoo poo goo, nothings, <laughs> sweet nothings. He'd be like, "Oh, you know what? You remind me of a cockroach in a bathing suit, waddling around, you know, a shaking your in a bathing suit. shaking your feces maker on the floor." He'd be like, "What the fuck?" I just love that you're not on that groupie cash train, finding all that cash under refrigerators, running around like a cockroach in a pond scum. I just love it. I love it, David. I love you, David. Oh, You're man. so good. Whoever thought that when we're covering these different stories, we could actually change those two people's lives for the better. <laughs> better, I don't know. <laughs> if you call them <laughs> together, better. <laughs> let's see. Uh, Whoops, there's that one. Okay, let's see. It's where's the one where she thinks that I lost all my viewers? Because that one's hilarious. Did you I already like read that. that one? Yeah, that's the one from the other day. We can pull that one up, too. Let me, let me pull I love that there. one. Yeah, I thought that one was really funny. It's hysterical. Actually, that's in the, give me a second. That one, right? Is it this one? Wait. Uh, no. Wait. wait. No, it was the next one. Although this one's funny too. <laughs> yeah, I like the mini comic. I like the Where shallow did comic. Megan Fox author go? Writing emoji. Did she jump ship so fast? Ship emoji. As fast as she jumped on the groupie cash train. Train emoji. She's smart. I believe deep inside she's finally onto it, but her ego is so self-inflated. Toot, toot. She will just distance herself <laughs> rather than get it together and report the real story like the top shelf she is. Even Tug Thug put on the brakes on the shallow comical mini blah blah. Oh my god. She's this is this should crazy. be she should be studied in a mental institution somewhere. <laughs> but she reminds me. I mean, some of the stuff she writes out does remind me of some clients I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it's, it's like what the tell me, tell me, Shara, do you are the people bothering you in the room with us right now? She's like, Yes, Megan, you're never leave. Are the mini are the mini blah blahs in the room with you right now? <laughs> toot toot. Kegs here said thanks for the five. Yikes, stay tuned. <laughs> Good dad. <laughs> <Dad's need. laughs> Another one here. Well, at least she didn't say film at 11. <laughs> thanks, Miss Slade. Oh, there's, oh, there's some good ones in here. Let me. Oh, she's a, she's something. Yeah, like, I like the one that where she talks about having Rolls Royces. The, that one is the the best. This there one. it is. Yeah. Here it is. I have no superior view in any way. I'm a learner, <laughs> and I'm always giving, yielding, and kind. I'm pointing.
pointing out the shaming and lies against the victims for cash by journalists and lawyers fighting for subscribers while pretending the story has only one side. Cash bag emoji. I grew up on a multi-million dollar estate. We had Rolls Royce vehicles and ocean views. I have no jealousy of money. Who are you <laughs> pretending to know me and why post from a fake name? I don't know any people with fake names. Your consistent false statements about me are truly your weakness. Just saying. <laughs> what the fuck? She's like, I'm the greatest. <laughs> I'm a I have no superior view, you know. But look at me. I'm kind and giving and yielding and, and wealthy and uh, like, what? What is thought, this? That sounds more like, you know, don't look at me. I'm a dumbass, you know, but I'm a learner. You know? I mean, yeah. Uh, but apparently she, she's taking it real personal when we talk about like how she wants that money. She's like, I have no jealousy of money. <laughs> It's so weird. If you grew up in a multi... So what you're basically saying here, though, let's say that this is true, that she comes from super wealthy family. She's got a trust fund, Rolls Royces, Ocean Views. Let's say all that's true. Then who are you to tell anybody else what they're doing for money is wrong? Right. Exactly. Uh, if you exactly. don't need money, welcome to the 1%, asshole. Because the rest of us are spending $400 every time we go to the grocery store and it's killing us. Okay. So you can just take your high horse, rich bitch, uh, you know, opinion about money and how you don't need it. Oh, thanks for that, by the way. And shove it up your ass because the rest of us kind of do. Indeed. Indeed. You know, the, it, it also, it makes me wonder why the fuck are you hanging out and otter creek you know and, and and kicking it down by the you know with the trailer <laughs> park crew you know i mean right. they, I, I don't believe that this is a are they mailing story. you meth and little guys in the wall are they bringing you <laughs> <laughs> little guys I mean, in the wall uh, <laughs> I don't, she's like i'm gonna get my crew together me you know john cook and his 27 knees and we'll get lined in 40 me don't question me. I have a Rolls Royce. Or I did. I grew up with one on an estate somewhere. Maybe it was a plantation. I'm not sure. We might have had servants, maybe slaves. I'm not sure. Uh, but there was a lot of money and there was a lot of, a lot of, you know, mini blah, blah money floating around with the Rolls Royces and such. And y all you peasants out there who need money and work for a living will just fuck you. I don't need it. Why would I need it? Just saying. I'm calling bullshit on that story with the money, though. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, it's not true. Can't be true. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> People raised like that don't behave like this online. I don't think, <laughs> unless know, they yeah. have some serious, you know, mental problems and they get kicked yeah. out of the family. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're. I don't know. Maybe the the dysfunctional sheep. Maybe they're the one. You know, you have the black sheep, and then you have the sheep that got sheared, and you know, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> ran over by a combine. I'm not sure. <laughs> and maybe she got disinherited. That could have happened. Oh, uh, I wouldn't blame anybody. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, Castle 3090 says privilege. Biatch says what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, thank you for telling us all about your privilege. Ooh, oh look. boy, what's this? I'm covering about, I'm covering about this story, just like Groupie Fox. <laughs> sort of is. I'm covering about this story, just like Groupie Fox, sort of is. Fox emoji. What in the hell? <laughs> I don't know. I can't understand most of the things she says. Oh, here we go. No. Groupie Fox, Fox emoji, was rude to her guests. She never even acknowledged actress Mayor on the train. Toot, toot. Or that J.H. even left. Now, I don't know if you've ever hosted a panel show, but it gets chaotic. It oh, gets, yeah. you but, cannot hear, you cannot see who's there. Like eventually, like people drop out. You have no idea. I, Jeremy, we have a private chat though in the background and Jeremy typed in, he had to go. And I told him this is come and go. Anybody can come in whenever they want, like an open house and then leave whenever they want. We, I didn't even notice Madam Mayor on the screen because there were eight other guests there. So my eyes are bouncing around from person to person, mostly the people who are speaking. 
Like it's so, it's so dumb. What a dumbass! I clearly said goodbye to Jeremy after he left. By the way, this is the woman that can't figure out what button to push after like what four years, four score and seven years ago. I invited you on my live stream, you know? and she like, can't get onto a live yeah. stream to save her life. Um, oh. uh, did you notice all of the viewers dropped off down to eighteen after JH? Boo hoo left because fox fox emoji wasn't giving him attention <laughs> i will get more views when i go live on facebook than she gets all month and i have not been live in a couple of years and i certainly <laughs> won't invite jh to read super chats and ring the cash cash emoji bell uh, bell emoji maybe i will take groupie fox fox emoji up on an expose she wanted me to do on her or hold on i did no i didn't i never asked for that things i never asked for for 500 alex <laughs> she's she's oh, gonna no. do it um, expose on you oh, no. <laughs> or maybe that's not much of a story just like sax parties sax emoji who cares i have an idea light bulb emoji master baby has been asking me for an interview for years maybe fox fox emoji is finally the perfect subject oh yeah sure get together with another guy who hates me i'm sure that'll be a fantastic uh, uh, I'm sure, expose i'm sure you'll get like you know viewer <laughs> you know what i mean how many viewers all three of your viewers are going to end up hating Ooh. me a whole lot yeah boy what a way to score that one up oh, i don't man. know what she's going to expose what what is there to expose about me i, I know megan fox once had a live stream about boobs that's right it was about tits she did a live stream about tits and they did titty trivia and it was horrible it was horrible if you know what i mean it was all about boobs and she had horrible. her boobs she had her boobs out she had her cleavage out like anybody would care about that yep i'm gonna expose that live stream she did in public you know the one that's live i hear so so patricia noted i, I didn't know this thing so the end shark had a GoFundMe for her son so much for multi-million or multi-money wannabe exactly <laughs> oh yeah that's right she had a bunch of GoFundMe. so is she ripping people off she doesn't need money but she's ripping people off with GoFundMe. So that's weird Ooh, don't do that a, yeah that's a strange admission isn't it and amy here said you know thanks for the 10 too if she uh had that much money and is a support of LP. Why is she not donating to her funds? Well, maybe she got Lynette her lawyer. Maybe that she's the anonymous donator. Uh, donor, yeah, right. donator, donor, anonymous donor. Uh, let's say there's one more. Let me give you one second. <laughs> I'm making sure I, I, I pull them up separately and then blow them up so we can actually see them. Oh my yeah and when when she's whining about the uh the 18 viewers it's hilarious it's like yeah that was a youtube problem <laughs> you know i mean yeah yeah <laughs> obviously the flow of it you you had a good oh like, yeah this thousand or more yeah <laughs> yeah i had 1100 or and the chat was still going crazy so the people were still there but youtube was showing that i had lost my entire audience and for a second, I thought, oh, a bunch of people left when Jeremy did because it dropped down by about 200 really quickly. Yeah. And that made sense. I was like, well, you know, sure. they went off to do something else. But then all of a sudden it started plummeting down to like, yeah, 18. I was like, holy hell, are we still live? What what <laughs> happened? Did I get blocked? And it turns out that, yeah, YouTube had a, a, a site-wide outage. And that's then you got kicked out and you couldn't get back in. I, I couldn't get back in at all. Like, which was weird because I would have thought that at first I thought that I had some kind of uh, an outage here. I saw it turn my TV on. I was like, no, you know, all my apps are pulling up and I couldn't get in StreamYard. So I thought, well, this seems like a StreamYard issue, but <laughs> YouTube. So I don't know what was going on then. You know, in the next day, I, I messaged you. I was like, I hope I can get, you know, live stream tomorrow because I have an interview. You know, I had that Madam Mayor interview. I was like, oh, my God, what's going on? But whatever it was, it was an absolute mess. But other people had it, too. You know, I thought yeah, subscribers were a lot of people told me they got unsubbed. Um, memberships went down. Yep. And I'm not sure if they fixed. I, I can't tell. 
cannot tell um because well, we, I, uh, I don't pay that close attention every day to how the subs are doing so i don't know what the accurate number is day by day so i wouldn't notice a few hundred here or there you know i don't know i i don't pay attention because i i go up and because i cover the same thing so i'll go up and i'll i'll lose some subs and i'll go back up you know i don't <laughs> but i mean as far as count now it's showing 1800 people in the chat so i mean we gotta you know we have a tuna and, and you had again when somebody drops off, you can tell somebody that's never done this stuff. I mean, absolutely. They're just morons when it comes to this. Because <laughs> even if somebody drops off, you know, you're going to retain like 90% of your people still. You know, <laughs> right. Matter. That's not a normal thing to happen it, for that to, you know, the audience to go down that low. But it happened so to everybody. Mad. I was so mad I got kicked out of there, though, because I was like, it's the birthday. Like. Of any stream, I was like, "This is the one I'm going to be on." You know, <laughs> it's your freaking birthday stream. You know, come no. out, hang and then I on. had a whole thing I wanted you to read too, and you were still gone. I was like, "Damn it!" I know you get messages. You're like, "You're gonna come back?" I'm like, "I can't. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I can't get in." Oh, uh, I was so weird. And then we had this one right here. Oh yeah. Uh, now, this isn't Char. This is somebody else who says, Char, did you yeah, notice yeah. all the viewers dropped off down to 18 after a J.H. Boohoo left? L-M-F-A-O. Such a great, it. such a great fake journalist spreading <laughs> lies without any research. Maybe look stuff up before opening your mouth. It was even mentioned in the live as it was happening. Oh, look, YouTube, YouTube had, a had a problem. <laughs> and you can see it right there. Outage. Oopsie. You know, oh, it did have an outage. What a uh -huh. great, what a great journalist. Oh, That's some journalism you? right there. Didn't even check the YouTube down detector. And by the way, I, I checked it live on the air. And yeah, we found out that, holy crap, look at the yeah. look at the spike in the reports. Like, obviously, there's a site-wide issue. So. Oh, man, look, it's thanks. Yeah, anybody that wants to, anybody that felt bad for me, <laughs> get make sure to super chat here you know that's crazy, <laughs> crazy things for that. damn it larry i mean tug <laughs> <laughs> i will be surrogate larry right now thank you <laughs> it's all right tug needs his groupie cash train money too yeah i need to i i need some more acronym though i'll be like d-u-i-t-u-g you know it'll sound like the <laughs> alphabet soup it'll be it'll be it'll be like my four-year-old when she's learning the alphabet you know she's like a b c e g f <laughs> I D U I T U G. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's see. I think we should cover some of the I think we should cover some of the fun times that have been coming from a, another kind of journalist as well <laughs> of oh, sorts. You mean, you mean tramp stamp lawyer? Oh yes. He's one of he's my favorite, I have to say. I kind of I know. I can't, wow. I hope he never stops blogging. <laughs> Let's cover his blog. Oh, my God. oh, <laughs> oh by the way, so before, good. before we get into this, let me just uh, announce that I finally got back to the keyboard and I wrote a new article, which we are going to read later, but I just wanted to let you guys yeah, know that it's, you, it's, uh, it's not you, trending and that's like not acceptable. Yeah, so you need to go clickety click on it right now. You guys just, you don't have to read it right now. Just go clickety click on it because I, it will reflect in my paycheck and it makes my bosses happy. And maybe they won't fire me if they see that I can trend number one. Um, Cause I don't write very often anymore. And I know they probably don't <laughs> like that very much. So it's always helpful when, when I do write something that it, it flies to the top of the charts. So I just dropped it in the chat for you guys. If you go clickety click on that and then come right back here, we're going to read it later in the stream, uh, but that would be great. Thank you very much. Oh, I like this one too. Check this out. It was uh, Larry said, you know, from the NJ Larry, this is to keep for Megan. I'll keep that. <laughs> He's going to keep it real safe. Janice said too, uh, you know, Shart wasn't the uh, donor for Lynette's retainer. Jerry knows who the female who gave her the 7K is. He also knows the guy who gave her an additional 3K. Shart doesn't have that kind of money <laughs> to donate. Well, maybe she should sell one of those Rolls Royces. Rolls Royce vehicles. I mean, Vehicle. maybe it was like a, maybe, maybe they owned a Rolls Royce, a uh, Rolls Royce tractor trailer. You know, they make those apparently. 
<laughs> that would be weird. Yeah, like she just got a random one. Yeah, my my dad used to drive it around with his billions of dollars. He had so much money, he would uh he would have a driver drive him around in the Rolls Royce tractor trailer while he swam around in the back like Scrooge McDuck. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, yeah. oh, I like this one, by the way. Allie is like, yeah, her music career had an outage. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? I won five, five honorable mentions in the Billboard contest, <laughs> and I only had to pay for a few of them. But I won them fair and square. <laughs> it's so funny. I wonder if she's ever like <clears throat> actually won an award for something for real that she didn't have to pay for. <laughs> I mean, for real, you know, she she acts like that, like she's never had a participation trophy or anything. Else. <laughs> right. Like, oh, look at my participation trophy. It's so shiny. Uh, I feel bad for her. She needs to like, you know, she looks like she's probably a creative person who should just throw herself into some artwork or sell some shit out of a van somewhere at a farmer's market. That's where I see her doing well, you know, like in, out Kids. of a hippie van. Kids? They're more like out of a candy van. I mean, Not kids! No! <laughs> She's like, I do I already sell them all over. <laughs> no. no, That's I why I was like, in Leaving I meant like watercolors, you know, something cool like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeremy's got a good idea. He says we can award her with the biggest joke on the internet 2024. We can. We can give her an award. Maybe that'll make her happier. Oh, man. I, I wonder. Let me find. Let me see. Let's see. Award maker. Award <laughs> maker. Oh, God. Hmm. Free certificate maker. Who designed your own plaque? Let's see. Not a sponsored one. I need one that's like just cool. God, do they have any that are? Ooh, generate certificates with AI. I wonder if it'll put a roach person in it. <laughs> Sitting on a cash train. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I can have so much fun with this. Uh, oh see. my God. Let's give her an award, shall I'm we? She deserves right one. Like, she deserves it's... she deserves an award. I do neighbor. deserve an award. I do. I'm kind. I'm polite. I'm thoughtful. I am all goodness all the time. I'm sunshine and happiness and rays of light. And all of y'all, the rest of you, are just a bunch of groovy cash cockroach pound scum. I'm mixing up the stories now, but that's all right. Cash train groupies. Not mm -hmm. like me. Hey, uh, so here's a, I'm looking at these makers and it has a, edit and then it says edit with ai so i'm trying to see what these do before i pull them up you know on screen. <laughs> <laughs> edit with ai yeah, that's a new thing that popped up on um was it Streamyard? you know when you go to edit a video there's like a new thing that says edit with ai i'm scared to click on it so what maybe is maybe let's good. see the title of the certificate what should it be uh <laughs> i don't know uh, i don't know it should be world's greatest jokalist 2024 <laughs> world's... oh World. jeremy says it should be the boohoo goo goo poo poo award <laughs> Award. <laughs> well, I think we're missing a syllable in there. It was boo who. What what was it? Boo not. It was me, boo who me, me goo goo poo poo something else. <laughs> so, let's see. Where is it? It's one of these. <laughs> where is it? It's got to be one of these. If it's not, I'll go find a damn thing. I need it now. Damn it! Where is it, is it because it was poetry in motion? It poetry was so poetic. Damn it! I'm gonna have to find it now. Thank you, Damn Megan. It. Now you got me looking in this. I'm like, I need it. <laughs> I need it. Okay, it's not that one. It's not that one. There it Hold is. Please. Lots of. There it is. It's blah blah. It's 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 boo hoo blah blah. That's what we're missing. Poo -poo, boo hoo blah blah poo poo goo goo. Yes. Okay. Boo hoo blah blah poo poo goo goo. Thank God it keeps part of that in there. Blah blah. <laughs> blah okay. blah boo hoo. Okay, we had the poo poo, poo, -poo. goo goo. We had the poo. <laughs> we had the, 
poo poo and goo goo backwards before. <laughs> what is this certificate about? It is, you know, it's going to AI it. So I'm going to see what it does. Okay. okay. What's it about? It is about uh, um, recognizing the greatest joke of a journalist. <laughs> Slay. Ever. <laughs> Slay. and also runner up in music in music runner up <laughs> additional information uh let's see let's see it will be awarded to the joke list <laughs> okay let's just see what it makes uh, i have no idea what the hell it'll make here it's like, it's like, it's generating. We'll see. Oh my God. There's a new blog post by Dingus. Oh my God. Dingus Gringus. And it's called, what the hell is a vanishing twin? He is literally going to argue she had vanishing twins. Oh God. They, so that is a real argument. I saw somebody uh, saying that was going to be the argument that it was the vanishing twin thing. Uh-huh. See, it'll make okay. Yeah. So this is this is what it makes. Now this is just a, a really crappy design. Okay, so you have to forgive the the ugliness to this thing, but it just gives you an idea. This is what <laughs> it made it in green for some nasty, you know, reason. It says it's the boohoo blah blah poo poo goo goo award awarded to the joke list presented by the, they, they just put a name in recognition academy in acknowledgement of being the greatest joke of a journalist and also runner up in music for the year 2021 <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect We're giving this to her mm. i am bestowing that on you i'm gonna I'm gonna post that. I'm gonna post it on Twitter real quick. Gonna, <laughs> let me let me do that, and then we can look at some of these. So give me one second. I'm gonna snip that bad, Daddy. I cannot huh. believe what is happening on Dingus's site right now. Oh, well, I mean, you you know you know the arguments are going to become very interesting <laughs> as we go along with this stuff because I mean, really, what else? I mean, what can he argue, honestly? You know, I'm going to be like, I don't, I, obviously he's going with the disappearing babies theory. The joke list has won an award <laughs> for the biggest participation trophy in the world. <laughs> trophy in the galaxy. <laughs> there we go. If I could spell participation, that'd be awesome. All right, I'm going to post that real quick. Okay. All right, there we go. It'll take it a second. You know, it has that delay. All right, beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, now we can do something else. Now I can concentrate on what I'm doing for real. <laughs> Crap. I'm now I have to take a phone call. It says five minutes. It's very important. Uh, I will be right back. Okay. I promise I will be right back. And uh, I'm going to look at this first. Tight. Yeah, I'm going to look at the first one. All, All right. right. I'll be All right. Right. All right. All right. Let's look at the first blog. So, you know, as far as the um, <laughs> as far as Gingras is concerned, he's actually done a couple of these. I mean, he's. <laughs> He's getting crazy. Like, look at this stuff. I mean, this is a lawyer, mind you, that is writing these. You know, he's just he's he's written a new one, and they're gonna go with the vanishing twin. But I don't I don't want to I don't want to mess that one up yet. Like, this was the this is the one that was done two days ago. And I mean, listen to the. I mean, you talk about the crazy butthurt. If you're following the if you're following Owens versus Eckerd case. You have totally, wait, I've got to get that right. <clears throat> you have probably seen a lot of folks talking about how they want to see justice for Clayton. There's a JFC Twitter account. There's a JFC GoFundMe page. I'm guessing JFC t-shirts are next. What's the next idea? JFC condoms. <laughs> this guy, man. 
<laughs> oh my God. JFC condoms. That's the first thing that crosses his mental threshold. He's like, yeah, you know, justice for Clayton condoms. I mean, this is the lawyer representing a woman that is telling us that she lost babies. And that's going to be his go to. I mean, you, you realize like how messed up that is when you think about it. I mean, he's turned this into a into a punchline himself. Like that is so it's so bizarre. But what exactly does justice for Clayton look like at the end of the day? All that happened here from a legal perspective is Laura hooked up with a guy, Clayton, who thought she was interested in him. Wait a minute. I thought they claimed that he arped her. Do what? Do what now? <laughs> so we've gone through again. They claimed and hammered the point in documentation that she wasn't a willing participant. He had arped her, but now, in his own words, he is saying, from a legal perspective. So from his perspective, from the legal perspective here, Laura hooked up with a guy who she thought was interest. So she hooked up with him. Huh. That's a fascinating fuck up right there. Good job. <laughs> Maybe he needs an award too. I swear. Oh, he just caught himself. I mean, that's. Ooh, that's bad. That is really bad. I saw the, let me, let me hit that chat that just came through there too. <laughs> have I, have y'all seen the newest excuse? Thank you, Sarah. Uh, vanishing twin syndrome. Yeah. And you know, when we're talking about that, let me, let me make sure people understand like what. Okay. I'm back. Okay. We were, we were, I was, I was mentioning. So off this, off this first, um, give me one minute. Off this first entry, you know, I made sure to, I made sure that I archived this so he didn't change this up. Because what, what caught me right from go was the fact that this sentence right here, I mean, there's a lot of butthurt in this. I oh my that. God, I can't get through this. I can't get through paragraphs without wanting to tear my hair out here. This though. So remember the claim that she made and that he hammered down on that. Clayton arped her, right? Yeah, I mean, that was in his first motion for more time. Okay, so this sentence right here, again, this is him speaking. At the end of the day, all that happened here from a legal perspective is that Laura hooked up with a guy, Clayton, who she thought was interested in her. Well, that suggests consent. It does indeed, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, it just, it does. Now, in his defense, I guess... You could say that in his motion, he was being t kind of tongue in cheek about it, kind of flipping about it, because he would also say, now, I'm sure this allegation is contested, but he still made it sound like it is an allegation, like she's making this claim. Well, I mean, she definitely put it into the, uh, you know, I mean, she she mentioned it. And when you read, through she didn't deny <laughs> she didn't deny that it was uh, ARP. She said, yeah. that's one techni that's a technical definition. Yep. I mean, she, you know, and when you throw that out there, they were trying to hang that, that label on him. So, yeah, <laughs> I thought, I mean, he's so butthurt though. From these, <laughs> from the beginning of this, again, if you're following the Owens versus Eckerd case, you have probably seen a lot of folks talk about how they want to see justice for Clayton. There's a JFC Twitter account, GoFundMe page. I'm guessing JFC t-shirts, Nadia, <laughs> JFC condoms. Maybe we <laughs> should um, maybe we should put some of those in the merch store. JFC <laughs> condoms. I'm just like, this is a guy though, when you think about it, this is a guy representing a woman that supposedly just lost two kids and he's joking about the this whole thing like it's you know like it's one big 
you know, gag gift to the world with a gag gift. I didn't really think oh, about God. what I just said. <laughs> it's a, How dare you? How dare you, sir? How dare you talk about my gag reflexes like this with no thought to how I feel about it? And by the way, I'll have you know that I don't have any gag reflex. I'm a very practiced, you know, blower, so to say, so to speak. <laughs> I didn't gag. That's defamation. <laughs> That's declaration. <laughs> <laughs> that is malicious declaration, sir. I didn't gag. I don't know where you heard that. I'm sure Clayton told you that, but I didn't do that. Oh man, I hope I hope Clayton learned a very valuable life lesson in all of this. Whew, you know, because <laughs> I mean, this is a terrible thing that's been unleashed on his life. We laugh about it, but my God, sadly, it turns out the feelings <laughs> were not mutual. Sucks, but that's life. Sucks, indeed. I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely did. Suck, that is. Laura claims, claims she got read. That's fascinating, too. He's not How dare you. he? How dare he? I was absolutely pregnant, 100% pregnant, 1,000% pregnant. I was pregnant, as pregnant as you could get. I was so pregnant that even the most pregnant person on earth was like, that person is more pregnant than me. <laughs> She must be carrying twins. That's where she got it from. <laughs> She's like, either either you're smuggling groceries or you're carrying twins. She was like, oh, totally. Totally. Yeah. Oh, my God, chat. Hashtag gag award. That is so funny. <laughs> I'll tell you, if there was a gag award, I would totally win it. Laura claims she got pregnant and did exactly what you would expect. She tried to talk to Clayton about the situation. Yeah, she gave him a dating contract. Right. <laughs> that's that's tried exactly to talk what you to him. expect, right? No, she tried to coerce him. She didn't <laughs> exactly. try to talk to him. She tried to force him into a relationship with her, or she was going to go to the press and expose him. That's called extortion, where I'm from. Oh no, somebody said oh, RJ <laughs> had to go on his, not just ball gags. Well, <laughs> that was hard to get past the censor. <laughs> Great job, Cages. Good job getting past the censor. Uh, uh, Rhea Rye also said, you know, I keep seeing her bad faces when Megan reads. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? I don't have bad faces. You? I don't have, I have, I have great faces. You can ask anyone, although most people haven't really seen my faces because usually they're looking at the top of my head. But oh, no. I have great faces. Yes. <laughs> I know <laughs> some people. <laughs> they... Sorry, was that too far? Did I go too far? Uh, that wasn't me. That was somebody else. Obviously, wasn't you. That wasn't your voice. That wasn't my voice. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't handle this very well. That's fair. That's fair. Oh my she didn't God. handle it very well. It's That's great fair. that he's, thank you for giving us your permission, sir, to think <laughs> that she didn't handle this very well. It's an understatement. I'm not judging your harsh opinions of Laura. But he's not course. because I, th I think he threatened to sue us for our harsh opinions. <laughs> yeah. I think he threatened to put change. us in a tent with a, uh, with a sleeping bag for our harsh opinions. I think he was talking about a coffin. I think that would, you know, I mean, if he's reading our obits later on, you know, <laughs> he's like, yeah, that's an eternal sleeping bag, sucker. <laughs> of, <laughs> of course, you uh, maybe you'd have a different view if you walked a mile in her shoes, as the saying goes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but here's the thing. This is a very strange twist of fate, but I have walked in mile in Clayton's shoes, literally. No, you haven't. Clayton never gave you his shoes, you damn liar. Look at this guy, what a liar he is. He doesn't know what the word literally means. Clayton never gave you his shoes. You he's don't even know Clayton. Himself, though. I mean, he's just turned this case into, look at me, look at me, yet again. <laughs> yet again. Mm -hmm. you know. I think maybe his strategy is to make us focus on him instead of his client. Maybe she paid him to take the focus off of her. Because he has become even more insane than she is. So we every time we want to talk about her, we actually have to talk about him. That's not a bad strategy. 
I kind of like that strategy because it's, it's a funny. good one. It's a good one. It's like, okay, I have this super crazy client. She is insane. Uh, and the media is like tearing her apart. So I will throw myself in front of the bus so that they stop talking about her and they now focus on me. So I'll just do all this crazy shit. And, you know, then they'll, st they'll take the heat off of her for a while. And then maybe they'll start to feel sorry for her because she's paying a guy who has become an even bigger meme than she is. Oh my God, listen, listen to his story here. When I was in my mid twenties, I hooked up with a girl on spring break. Days later, <laughs> was it Daytona? Called... Daytona. <laughs> it was like spring break. Were they doing Jello shots off of her belly? <laughs> yeah. well, I wonder if she was seventeen. Was this the seventeen-year-old? I'm sorry. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, no, no. <laughs> Days later, she called and said those two words you just don't want to hear in that situation. I'm prego. <laughs> just, just like Clayton, my initial response was, holy shit, we just had oral. So oh, no, wait, that's not what he says. Oh, <laughs> wait a second. We only hooked up once, and that was like six days ago. How could you possibly know you're pregnant that soon? It sounded... <laughs> impossible but now there are me. early tests that you can do five days after you get pregnant i've i've done one and it worked it was it was accurate so you can but but that was just a more recent thing i don't know if back in the 90s they had those but maybe i'm wrong so unlike clayton my response was very different you know because i'm totally the best i uh told this young lady first and foremost the decision about what to do was entirely up to her oh he's such a good guy <laughs> so great yes you know i won an award for that runner up <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it sounds like he's jesus christ himself <laughs> jfc jfc jesus that's what he was trying to tell us all this time with the jesus effing christ uh he is jfc himself look at what a wonderful dude he is he's just accepting and doesn't care what you know spring break ho he hooked up with who says it's his baby he's like oh yeah let's do it let's yeah i'm open yeah sure he's like, whatever he's like no i have a real statement it's jfg he's like jesus fucking gingris <laughs> Jesus fucking Gingris. <laughs> oh my god. JFG. JFG is in the house. JFG, man. JFG. There's your song right there. Bopping those spring break girls and taking care of their babies. JFG. Sorry. Jesus freaking Gingris, man. Mm. I barely knew her. But I explained inch, if, inch, inch. Sorry. <laughs> if I was the father, I would absolutely do the right thing and support her in any way necessary. As a man, as a man, and even a he young think Clayton one. is not a man <laughs> because he didn't want to be the father to non-existent babies. Oh, Jesus, man. You could, you could like cut bread with that freaking chin like he's got such a you know chiseled jawline and stuff you know what nick dude. said about him oh. nick goes dude that guy's chin is bigger than my whole body <laughs> it is man i mean <laughs> i mean his chin looks toned it looks like his chin works out i'm like geez man he makes me feel right really you seen the size things. of his neck like does I he know, lift man. does he lift weights with his head yes like <laughs> he his, does he's like his Ugh. neck is like it's huge. I know he is is buffed out. You know? Yeah, Clayton's a <laughs> strapping young lad. This guy though, he's like as a man, even a young one. You know, because I'm buff inside, all the <laughs> belly belly. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine turning my back on my own child, no matter what the circumstances were. Who would do that? It's not the child's fault that he, she came into this world unexpectedly. Now, Clayton didn't turn his back on any child mm -hmm. either. He just didn't want to sign a dating. I mean, they end up in court talking about, you know, plans and stuff. <laughs> he didn't turn his back on anything there. He turned his back on crazy. That's his right. You know, He never believed she was pregnant. Yeah. He didn't believe her because no. they didn't have intercourse. The difference between Gingras's story here and Clayton's is that Gingras actually fucked that that chick. So 
it was of course a possibility that he was the father. And if Clayton had done that, he would have reacted differently, but he didn't. He says it was oral arguments and a rebuttal. So how does someone get pregnant by being in close proximity to sperm? Jennifer's asked, and this is a good question. Is he a lawyer or PR guy? Because he seems to suck LOL at both. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's trying to do both of those jobs, but he's failing. Yeah. Failing very badly. So failing. she decides that she's going to keep the baby. Nine months later, she calls again and asks me to send a picture of my earlobe <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy <laughs> to my shock and surprise apparently there are two types of earlobes attached and non-attached and this is apparently a reliable way to determining paternity there's this well, other thing called a paternity like, test you also know? though yeah also <laughs> though it's a it's reliable if you know you're the only guy who was in her <laughs> well, but what if there was another guy with ears just like yours who was in her? It's not well, reliable then. Appar uh, yeah, apparently the, there were <laughs> there was some question. <laughs> let's just say here, you know. Also, the Google he mentions Google was Google active in 1996. Was there a Google then? I don't know. Let me let me look up the Google. I feel let's like see. he couldn't have Googled that in 1996. Wait, we all had something what? called um, AOL, Google, or MSN. When did started. when was Google the Google started? come out? Google started in 1997. Busted, boom, oh, roasted. Oh, liar, lawyer, liar, Ooh. liar. Ooh. Oh my god, Fox, expose your ass. Busted. Oh my god, holy shit. It uh, Stanford University in California developed a search algorithm first in 1996 known as Backrub. <laughs> but it wasn't released as google until 1997 <laughs> 1997 they turned it around and said it was front rub and everybody loved it. front rub yeah that's <laughs> and we became we started calling that google <laughs> oh i'm sorry it actually says it was officially launched in 1998 so he's two years off google that didn't google. exist buddy boom sorry. roasted you didn't use the Google. He used some other search engine. What what other search engines were available in 1996? <laughs> search engines in 1996. Archie query form web crawler. That's what it was. Web crawler. That's what he used most likely. No, it was the Google. Google wasn't he, said. he said the Google. <laughs> Sorry. He said the Google. If the child has an debunked, debunked. <laughs> Sorry, so if the I'm child has an attached lobe and the mom does not, then that means the father must have the same type of kid because genetics. No idea if that's true, but the <laughs> seems but to I'll just believe it. Accurate. I don't know if it's true, but I'm going to buy it because I'm dumb. <laughs> this was 1996. Phones didn't have cameras. I probably my phone had know. a camera in 1996. <laughs> I don't even remember 1996, man. <laughs> I probably mailed her a photo taken on film and dropped off at the Walgreens. <laughs> Sometime later, I got the call. You don't have the right kind of earlobes. You can't be the dad. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so I called, she called 12 other dudes. Oh, no. The year's 2024. I would have responded differently. But in 1996, I breathed a huge sigh of relief. I went off to law school in 97 thinking I dodged a bullet. Little did I know, 10 years later, 2006, that bullet would come back. <laughs> so dumb. The way I was, this guy writes. Uh, Dave was, Neal pointed out, Dave Neal did a great video on this actually uh, this morning. And uh, he did point something out about that thing about, oh, I dropped it off. I probably mailed her a photo taken on film and dropped off at Walgreens. And Dave's like, wait, you don't remember if that's what you did? You probably did that? You, you mean you had a girl tell you that you could be the father of her kid and you have no recollection of this photograph? You didn't keep a copy? You didn't, like, really? You don't Maybe remember? You don't this know. doesn't add up. He's like, I, I had six calls like this during spring break. I was <laughs> well, an that's active lad. Possible. That's possible. 
<laughs> spring break with JFG, <laughs> pull up a jello shot and grind on me. Okay, I'm sorry. We were rocking the Kid Rock, like I said. It was amazing. I was sitting in my office on the 20th floor of the office building in Phoenix when my receptionist buzzed me. Um, yeah, David, there's someone here with some papers for you. Papers. By this time, I was a lawyer, and getting served with papers was hardly unusual, but not with my name listed as respondent in a paternity establishment case. I later learned that my spring break fling had some personal problems. I think she ended up applying for public health benefits for her child. When that happens, the state asks, hey, why should AZ taxpayers have to pay for this kid? Where's the father? Let's make him pay. So they asked the mother who the dad was, and my name was given. This resulted in the Arizona Attorney General filing the biggest uh difference between this case and the ecker case yet um there was yeah, a freaking kid there was a child yeah it was <laughs> my first part you know but you know he's still like she's disturbed and she's lying so that's a mm, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> a great father too he's like ah, i just forgot about it 10 years later maybe it was my baby okay <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah great dad man great dad my name was given. This resulted in the attorney general filing a paternity action against me on behalf of the Department of Economic Security. The allegations in the petition shocked me. Oh, I was so shocked. David Gingras is the father of this poor, desperate child. You see, he's saying, I got accused, I got falsely accused of shit. Huh, David, hmm, does none of this compute with you? <laughs> like on, maybe that was fucked up and but he wasn't actually falsely accused though because the the attorney general wasn't accusing him of fathering this child they were basically filing an action to say we need to know who the father of this child is and you need to take a paternity test because you've been named yeah well the mother is falsely accusing his is what you know yeah. it's like i'm not the daddy you know right it was it was harsh to see those words in a legal filing, especially since A, the mom told me I was not the father, and B, no one at the AG's office contacted me about this before the case was filed in court. Isn't there any due diligence required? Wait a minute. Any due diligence, you know, like making sure someone's pregnant? Like, <laughs> huh? I feel like someone's making points that uh, I've been making quite a bit and you've been making it, Dave, you know, all of us have been making, like maybe there should be a little of that, that due diligence, you know? Yeah, qu asking questions. <laughs> Plot twist. Gingras wakes up from, <laughs> from alleged coma and says, I never wrote any of that. It was someone pretended to be me and Laura paid them to do it. Oh, God. No, the real plot twist is there really was no David Gingras. This is all <laughs> <laughs> using his station. I would, I would believe that that was actually the case, except I know someone who's actually met him in person. So he exists. We're going to find out later on. This actually isn't him, though. She's just using a blog that looks like him. That's why it's so shitty looking. It's really like <laughs> a, a really professional blog. And this guy, the real David Gingras, is actually some really nice dude <laughs> yeah you're like what the hell yeah no that's not him that's not uh, the story nope it's that him. would be hilarious though. it would be funny but i i actually was hoping that was the case but no no it's real <laughs> the papers included a summons with a court date so i showed up in court without a lawyer you are a lawyer what the fuck dude <laughs> the judge who i knew from other cases asked me so what do you want to do about this this was like a strange this seemed like a stranger i was like i said this was like i was like wait a minute did it say that no this seemed like a strange request but little did i know arizona law actually allows people to voluntarily admit paternity even if they are not the biological parent of the child it's kind of like adoption some people just want to be the parent of the child even if it's not your child that was the judge that's what the judge meant when he asked what I wanted to do, he was given the option of saying, yeah, I'll be the parent of this kid, even if I'm not actually her father. 
I'm a generous person, man. Joke list. <laughs> you know, they're all great, generous, loving, mm -hmm. dedicated people. Amazing. But I couldn't see. He loves to toot his own horn. Toot, toot. That's me. That's why. I, that's, that's why I put so many things about myself in song. You know, if everybody else can do it, so can I. You know, I can tell myself an army of one and brag about my platinum grill. <laughs> but, but, but I couldn't see taking responsibility for a child that wasn't mine. So I told the judge we should take a test and see what happens. The AG had no objections. We did a test and guess what? The earlobe thing was 100% right. I wasn't the dad. And at least for me, that was the end. So, yes, exactly like Clayton, maybe I was wrongfully sued for paternity. The exactly AG, like Clayton? No, not even close. No, not even close. You know, mm -hmm. did you uh, did you have um, this woman go to outlets like The Sun and talk about mm -hmm. what kind of a scumbag you are and all did these you, other did, terrible Did this woman call your employers and send crazy, malicious emails to your employers about how you knocked her up and then for, tried to force her to get an abortion and then you got fired from those job opportunities and your name has been you know, ruined in the field where you work? And did she go to the licensing board and try and take your law license away? Did she... Um, did she cancel your paternity test on the day that you were supposed to go take it just to make it so you couldn't take it? Did she refuse to go get a paternity test unless you agreed to date her for a week? If the answer to all of those things is no, then you are not anywhere near this case. Uh, he's like... The AG allegations against me were 100% false. I didn't abandon my child. I'm not a heartless, deadbeat dad. But unlike Clayton, I didn't turn <laughs> around and accuse the Arizona Attorney General of fraud. I didn't seek revenge. I didn't demand justice. False. He did demand justice. He demanded a paternity test, and that's justice fucker. He's such a liar. I didn't demand justice. Well, if you didn't demand justice, then you would have said, I accept. I'll take on the baby. Yep. Yeah. You'd have been, but he did demand been, justice and he got it. And he he, should, he's you not know, a very and, good and, lawyer, Tug. He doesn't know no. what justice is. <laughs> well, he he did what someone should do in these cases. He did exactly what a Clayton should do or anyone else should do. Right. You know, they should establish the baseline for it. And when somebody's trying to train wreck your damn life, then if you need to go further, you need to go further. And again, there was a child. That's the difference in this, too. There was actually a child here. So the AG's office made a good faith mistake. They relied on the best information available. The information turned out to be wrong. Under the law, that does not mean I was automatically entitled to sanctions, which it seems to be Clayton's attitude. Oh, my God. Yeah, trying to compare that girl. There. Wait a minute. Maybe that girl, though, just thought, well, we only did check his earlobe. Maybe, maybe <laughs> yeah. that was wrong. You know, she could have in good faith been like, well, it could have been him. Chances are she gave the two names or however many names. It was spring break. It could have been six or more. Who knows? She may have given all the names to the AG and the AG sent subpoenas to all of them. For She's all like, we well, the earlobe was weird. But, you know, <laughs> when my, when my little boy started growing up and getting, oh, wait, it was a girl, right? My bad. He said her, right? I was going to say know. when oh, when the little boy was growing up, you know, he did have a little bitty peewee. So I thought <laughs> maybe it was him. <laughs> maybe that is my kid. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> the law never, ever requires people to be 100% perfect when they file a case in court. All that is required is a good faith basis to think your claims are probably true i tell I, we've said this is this is going to be the defense right there that's mm -hmm. the defense for laura well she believed that it was real she had to fake those sonograms she thought it was real if you can clear that super low hurdle no judge will ever sanction you just because no no, no this is false oh this is wrong yes sorry i mean <laughs> no i mean you know he's like oh, it'll never happen It'll she didn't have happen. a good faith basis because if she miscarried in July, like he said she did, then she filed her paternity suit August 1st in totally bad faith with unclean yep. hands. Yep. 
Yep. There's no way for her to say she might have believed she was pregnant before July 23rd. So anything she did before July 23rd, fine. We'll throw that away. But after July 23rd, no, no. And we're working on his own timeline. He's the one who supplied the timeline for us. So yeah. just to note that that's not a timeline he can blame on someone else. He's the one that was like, oh, let me brag and let me brag about how I got all this stuff. And yep, I totally have that that document you want from. And he, he gave the date multiple times. So that's not a bad thing. In the old days, when people had disputes, they would challenge you to a duel with pistols on Main Street at high noon. What what the fuck does this have? Oh, he's to trying to be he's trying to be the teacher now. Gather round, children, as if you've never heard this before in fifth grade civics class. I'm going to teach you because I'm douche canoe. I'm going to teach you all about the law because I'm the law expert, and you don't have a clue about the law because you're a bunch of fucking morons. That's that. <laughs> That's what he's doing here. He's like, I'm going to law explain the interwebs. I totally came up with that on my own, by the way. <laughs> you can hear they just teeth grind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, 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 Ricada in the background. Get the fucking case laws ready. <laughs> 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 50 paces turn in fire. That's how the speeds were resolved. It was messy, loud, <laughs> and probably not fair, but it was fast and cheap. <laughs> Today, we are more civilized legal system to help people solve their disputes. Really? I didn't realize. You mean they outlawed people shooting one another in the street? <laughs> Explain Chicago. <laughs> you know? This is so weird. I've never heard this before. It's like a whole new world of jurisprudence has been opened up before my <laughs> eyes. In the heavens, the angels sang in choirs of angels. Ah, now that the, the douche canoe lawyer has law explained it all for us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, Megan, can you totally hold down this live stream while I sure. cancel my order for dueling pistols on Amazon? <laughs> 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 uh, you were like damn it i had a duel set up for 6 a.m at, at dawn tomorrow we we're about what to are... throw down <laughs> that ain't my baby <laughs> 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 We want to encourage people to come to court rather than using violence or other means to solve a dispute. <laughs> you know, there wasn't violence or anything else that was involved, by the way. So mm -mm. what the fuck In are fact, you talking about? On her um, her restraining order she filed against him where it said, was there domestic violence? She checked the box that said no. Totally not. But, you know, there's other forms of violence, you know, like uh, getting my mouth pregnant. That's <laughs> violent. As a part of that, actually not checking off yes and will you date me? Yeah. You remember those you remember those letters like you would see in like grade school? Like, oh, are you do you like me? Yes or no? Check yes or no. Yeah. <laughs> she sends out dating contracts like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. As part of that, we know that sometimes people will bring claims that turn out to be wrong. That's why I'm so confused at the angry Justice for Clayton fans who explain most of us are primarily interested in how to make sure this does not happen to any more men. False accusations help none of us. Yeah, that. Uh, uh, I, I think somebody's getting butthurt about a few more of us, you know, because that's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's so, that it's like... so weird. How could you be confused and angry about a normal sentiment where people wish that false accusations didn't happen? How can that make you confused and angry that people want justice? And there's a difference in false allegations and mistakes. He's trying to be like a mistake, you know, in the world of false, a, a mistake. No, there's a big difference, you know, because we're talking about good faith. Again, he liked to throw in good faith, but his own timeline wrecks that idea of good faith. So <laughs> fuck you say false allegation, the whole word there, false. When we use that, we're not talking about, well, yeah. I made a mistake. Sorry about that. Let's let's let it slide. <laughs> 
He likes to minimize yeah, I mean, maybe, everything. Maybe this girl that he was with on spring break did just make an honest mistake because she's probably thinking, well, I never tested him for paternity. He really, he might be. Maybe that earlobe thing was a bunch of bullshit. So she was maybe acting in good faith by saying, well, it could be him. So might as well get a paternity test. But he's like, yeah, okay, that's true. But, but, but in the world of false allegations, a mistake, even groundless allegations of paternity is one of the easiest, quickest, and cheapest to disprove. Oh, really? Because uh, by the time she allowed him to get to the place where they could disprove it, he had already sunk a fucking fortune into this. You know, mm -hmm. not to mention all the emotional damage of trying to fight for his real estate license all at the same time and like fighting for his speaking engagements and losing those. And uh, it, I put up a Twitter thread today where I took on this exact thing that he said here that, oh, it was so easy and cheap and everything. Uh, I'm like, oh, David Gingras says that Clayton, you know, that it should have been easy and cheap. Well, here's what it looks like when you when you're when this guy's client decides you're the father of her alleged babies. And I put all the screenshots of the communications they had about that paternity test where she's canceling appointments and she's demanding that he date her before she'll take it. She won't show up to her appointment. She keeps canceling shit. It goes on for months, months. It's not the same as this at all. Yeah, he was saying, I got a call one time and then I had a thing filed against me. I show up in court. I was like, hey, I want to take a paternity test. And they were like, all right, good deal. And that was that. You know, that that's what he's saying happened to him. Was it an inconvenience? Sure. But it was handled easily, quickly. It wasn't all this other peripheral bullshit, you know. <laughs> but he's like, oh. You know, all this, it's like shooting someone with a Nerf dart. Any collateral damage is virtually zero. Seriously, I know. He's in over 100 and, 150000 in the hole already. How is that virtually zero? Collateral damage How is that a zero? Nerf dart? You know, that's the most expensive fucking Nerf dart. 150 grand in lawyer's fees, lost opportunities on television and at his speaking engagements for mental health stuff that he was doing. And he now has a stain on his record in the real estate community because he has that letter against him for violating whatever that thing was. I mean, what, how does he, how does that chalk up to zero damage? Oh, and, you know, Clayton will never be able to calculate how many job losses that he will sustain in the future because yeah. of this. Yeah, because this stain, we've seen how the media selectively covers portions of this, you know, and it'll always be there in searching his name. Even, I mean, even if he clears everything, he has a decision that goes totally in his favor. Still, how's that going to come up? How's it going to cover? Will he ever be able to remove the stigma? And we know the answer to that. You can't remove the stigma associated with this bullshit because people like this be like, oh, he's trying to punish her because she made a mistake. You know? That's what I actually wrote about in my article on PJ Media that you all should be clicking on right now. Clickety click. Get over there and click yeah. on it. Um, the I, I was writing about how you even Johnny Depp, who took his accuser to court and won and was vindicated in court uh, in this defamation claims and the and the jury found that she defamed him. Even still, he is not vindicated in the minds of some people. They still call him an abuser. The only thing that I think would have vindicated him entirely would have been an arrest and prosecution of Amber Heard for all the abuse that she heaped on Johnny Depp, including severing his finger, uh, you know, hitting him, admitting to hitting him. I didn't punch you. I hit you, moron. Um, all of that, like still people are not, he's not vindicated. Even after spending how many millions of dollars on that trial? I mean, we, we don't know a total for him, you know, because it's, I'm going to say between the two, though, easily, you're talking tens of millions of dollars, you know, by the time all of that ended. Yeah. I mean, we so, know, I mean, we heard her side, you know, they said, what, her insurance companies, they were giving us, you know, right around, right around 10. So, you know, for him. He had to invest a lot more. I mean, that's, that's, that's absolutely insane.
And there's going to be a portion of people out there who never believe that he was innocent. Like I've been arguing with this idiot on Twitter. I've got to stop. In fact, I, I muted her because I couldn't take it anymore. I've been arguing with this moron who is literally defending that Lindsay Hill, that awful Lindsay Hill with the, tr the Trevor Bauer accuser who filmed herself in his bed, smirking, sent text to her friend about how she was going to get that bag, $51 million. He's her next victim. All this shit going to get daddy to choke me out. And then she goes and does it and accuses him of violent ARP. Oh, no. No, baby. You sell that crazy someplace else because we yeah. are all stocked up here. And I've got people actually, literally, literally defending this woman still. Actually, you know, since we're we're talking about, uh, we'll come back to this for a minute. But since you brought up Trevor Bauer, why don't we, why don't we pull up your article real fast? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Let me do that. Wait, before yeah. we do that, share my screen though, because General Tuggernaut sent us a gem. Okay. This will be a good see. laugh break. Let me make sure the volume's all the way up. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Time to do some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. <laughs> hope I get away with it. Oh, to do da day. Thanks, <laughs> 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 <No, face> dance. <laughs> Uh, hey, Legal had a very good question. Thanks for the squiggles, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Megan, what does his earlobe look like? I don't know. You can't tell from his photographs. It's like it, he's never like giving us a total side profile. So I can't tell. And he doesn't tell us. <laughs> he doesn't actually have ears. Oh, he's probably asking me because of the joke that I may have known this guy in college. <laughs> you think I can barely remember him, Jeff, and you think I can remember the shape of his earlobes? <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. Now I get it. This article, by the way, is linked at the top of your chat. So if you would, please click on this article and then uh, back out and click on this article again and back out. And after you do that about 19 times, then finally land on this article. <laughs> I actually think it only counts from different computers. Uh, so, okay, so you fine. Can... Fire up your VPN, <laughs> click on the article, change your location. <laughs> oh, fine, fine, man. Jeez, you got to complicate everything. <laughs> but if you, it does work if you do it from your mobile and then from your lap, laptop or PC. It'll whatever. work with a VPN too, people. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have a VPN, you should. <laughs> yeah, by the way. But yeah, this this really got me because now Trevor Bowers false one of them, not Lindsay Hill, unfortunately. Uh, one of his false accusers is facing jail up to 16 years for felonies involving the fraud she perpetrated on him. Uh, and I'm asking the question, will Laura Owens be next? And it, this is the same county, by the way, Maricopa County, same police, yeah, Scottsdale. So same car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the woman who accused former Major League Baseball player Trevor Bauer of ARP and impregnating her is facing 16 years in prison for multiple felonies involving false allegations against two men. The indictment against Darcy Adana as Az Manu found that pursuant to scheme or artifice to defraud, as Manu knowingly did obtain a benefit. Now, pay attention to these this phrasing knowingly did obtain a benefit from marco bresciani and trevor anthony bauer by means of fraudulent pretenses representation promises or material omissions count two specifically references the crimes against bresciani which include obtaining or seeking to obtain property or services from marco by means of a threat to in the future expose a secret or an asserted fact in a social media message tending to subject Marco Bresciani to hatred, contempt, or ridicule, or to impair Marco's credit or business, among other things. Well, that sounds familiar. Yeah. As Manu faked a pregnancy, demanded money for an abortion that never happened, threatened to go to the media, and then did, and sued Bauer for alleged ARP and impregnation. Bauer has always maintained his innocence, but he was suspended from the MLB. As Manu also demanded he pay her $3.6 million for her silence. Bauer said, when I refused to pay her, she made up bogus essay claims. This is not Bauer's first experience with false assault allegations. Lindsay Hill accused the pitcher of violently 
assaulting her and was caught making a video from his bed, smirking at the camera and texting a friend about how she was going to take his money. Hill never faced any consequences other than a defamation suit brought by Bauer that was settled with no exchange of money because she countersued him and it was like a nasty battle. She is still sticking to her ridiculous story. And by the way, you guys, when you go in the article, make sure you click on this video here. Because yes, Sarah, Gon Sarah Gonzalez, she destroys Lindsay Hill mm. in this interview. It is great. Um, so then I said, we rarely see female accusers held accountable, accountable criminally. So the question must be asked, why is Esmanu fi fa finally facing the music? And why has Hill not been charged? She's crowing about it on Twitter and using the type of descriptive language one would expect from a gutter snipe who asked a man to beat her up and then tried to destroy his life forever. For those of you who don't know, it is absolutely proven in court that Lindsay Hill told him to punch, slap, choke, all these things, told him to do it, and then had the balls to go to the cops and tell them that he yeah. violently assaulted her and, and there was a video like she claimed all this damage was done to her and yet the day after like when she's still laying in bed with him she does no a, bruises yeah she does a video and you can see her face clearly nothing nothing had happened to her whatsoever and her answer to that was well you you know if you squint it was the same thing that we heard with the amber heard if you squint hard enough <laughs> then maybe, you know, and you reduce the clarity down to 240p, maybe that mush of a picture, maybe you could see something there. And and later on, then they right. develop into full blown, you know, anyway. Yeah. And she also uh, said her excuse was, well, they developed later. That was only four hours after the event. So it was like eight hours afterwards when the bruising developed. You know, I've been hit before. And if a bruise doesn't develop right away, you do get big red marks, though. And there were no red marks on her face. She claims there were scratches on her face. There were no scratches on her face. Um, so just today, I think it was today, Lindsay, or yesterday, Lindsay Hill tweeted out, Sarah, you're a miserable cunt. You continue to believe you know better than the top officials and lawyers at Major League Baseball, as well as a neutral arbitrator who reviewed all the evidence and decided he was worthy of the longest domestic violence suspension in history. But I would like to just point out that an MLB arbitrator, he is not a cop. And the cops never charged Trevor Bauer with any of this. So the arbiter at the MLB, he's just, they're just, the MLB is just making, they're, they're hedging their bets, right? They're like, yeah. well, they you know, like, this... ah, well, you know, bad publicity. We're right. Just gonna, we're going to dump. So then she said other nasty things. And he says, if she was charged, why wasn't I? I think she should not be so glib because yeah. the precedence that's being set right now, she could get a knock on her door at any moment. There should be too. You know, we have this argument all the time and there's people who always say, you know, well, you can't prove every claim. Therefore, there are claims you can prove are false. You can prove that these people lied. And when you prove that these people lie and we see cases like this happening all the time, you know, we saw a woman take a hammer to her face. You know, she mm -hmm. she she was saying that she was trafficked. She ruined uh, six men. Six people she said that she was violently uh, accosted by and I mean, just all these insane things. I mean, I mean, we see cases like that all the freaking time and rarely do we see any consequences. And when we do see consequences, there's very little as far as the consequences are concerned. Mm, very little. It's usually probation or not even that. Like they'll just they won't even charge them in the first place. <laughs> Go pick up some litter. Yeah, it's bad. It, it's bad. Okay, And I like this part of my article because I don't really like Trevor Bauer very much. I don't want to downplay what an unlikable person Bauer seems to be. He's either the world's dumbest man or he's just a degenerate man whore. Too many women have told similar stories. I think he's had like four of them now, leaving only a few options. He's a known target because of his sexual fetishes. He's a real abuser or he has the mental acuity of a tree stump. But sexual deviant or dummy, <laughs> seriously, like how many times does this have to happen to you before you're like, hey, you know what? I'm not going to sleep with snakes maybe, anymore. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> maybe this is a bad life plan. Maybe yeah. it's a really bad life plan. Maybe I should just stick to porn, you know, like yeah. I should not be sleeping with skanks. 
uh, cause look at, it's not, it's not paying off well for me, but I don't think he has a very high IQ, not even medium smart folks, not even medium smart, but sexual deviant or dummy authorities haven't charged him with anything and have instead charged one of his accusers with felonies. Bauer's star status may have helped him get justice. When a notable ball player makes a report to the police, they tend to respond because if they don't take the call seriously, a famous person has access to media and a large audience to cause trouble. The average Joe doesn't have that luxury. Look at Clayton Eckert, a former NFL player and one of ABC's bachelors. He's a minor celebrity, but he's been to the Scottsdale, Arizona police in the same county where Bauer filed his complaints to report the extortion, harassment, and false allegations he says he experienced from Laura Owens, only to be told there's nothing they can do. But the indictment of Asmanu seems to suggest otherwise. Email records show that Owens targeted Eckert's place of business and his side gig speaking engagements and managed to get him uninvited from booking events by claiming he had impregnated her with twins and was trying to force her to have an abortion. Emails and text records prove that it was Owens herself offering to have an abortion in exchange for a forced romantic re relationship with Eckert. And I have the screenshots of those emails. Eckerd never believed the pregnancy was real, claiming the two never had sex but did engage in oral sexual activity that can't result in pregnancy. Owens has a string of men behind her, a literal string, who say that she pulled the same scam on them. The small difference between Owens and Esmanu is that Owens never demanded any money from her targets. Instead, she threatened to go to the media to destroy reputations, and then she followed through, smearing Eckerd's name in the sun and on Medium and making a TEDx talk about another man she accused. According to Maricopa County, though, the law says that any benefit that results from a threat to to in the future expose a secret or an asserted fact in a social media message or in any other manner, whether true or false, tending to subject a victim to hatred, contempt, or ridicule, or to impair a victim's credit or business is a crime. The statute seems to have a $100,000 minimum in damages, but Eckert has sailed way past that by defending himself from the allegations Owens made when she filed what his attorney describes as a fraudulent paternity suit against him, not to mention the lost business opportunities. Why are the authorities in Maricopa County uninterested in Laura Owens? Is it because her father is a rich and influential ex-radio talk show host worth millions? Is it because she's white and Esmanu is black? One should ask I, I, the question. I think, that, I think that's a good point. I think that's actually a very good point there. Because when you look at the people that, that seem to get away with all of this kind of stuff, yeah, there's, a, there, there's one common There's a common denominator, you yeah. know? There they, they really is. One should ask the question because their behavior is shockingly similar and they're in the same county and police district. Yet law enforcement won't do anything about Owens, but they appear to be ready to throw the book, rightly, at Esmanu. It should be noted that Bauer's other accuser, Hill, who hasn't been arrested, is white too. Mm -hmm. Many of my readers don't like to consider the possibility that our justice system has a race problem because of the damaging results of DEI policies in corporate America that we all agree are absurd. But racial disparities in our justice system have been widely studied and shown to be a real problem. Mm -hmm. President Donald Trump recognized it and signed the First Step Act that saw over 3,000 federal prisoners released, many of whom were minorities and women who were serving incredibly long sentences for nonviolent first offenses. There is little difference between Bauer's accusers' behavior other than their race and physical location. It's possible that Hill hasn't been arrested because authorities in her jurisdiction lack the evidence to do it, or maybe because she's a well-spoken, lawyered-up white girl with a media presence. Ooh. I don't, I don't know, but it looks weird to me. Laura Owens is also a well-spoken, lawyered-up white girl with a lot of daddy's money. Are the Maricopa County law enforcers scared to try going after her? Is it because Eckerd isn't famous enough to cause authorities to worry that they may be put on blast for ignoring what's being done to him? <laughs> Look at this freaking, uh, this commercial. <laughs> a receding <laughs> hairline coverage well, like, patch. It's like our lace hair patch. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> David, I have a present for you. This versatile solution features a lace base known for its exceptional breathability and lightweight feel. Boy, we are really digging in the bottom of the barrel for advertisers. Uniwigs. <laughs> Uniwigs. 
We're going to have to go on that website. Oh my we God. Go they have 24 seven customer support. <laughs> Maybe um, we need one of those. Oh, I might have to call them and ask them. Do I need it? Yeah. Are you going to, I got to say good night to the little one. Come here. Okay. Say good night. You're the little one. I, Hugs. Little, good night. little one. Good night. <laughs> good night. night. Good night, hangry. Good night, big one. <laughs> big one. <laughs> Hello, fellow people. <laughs> Hello, return, fellow people. <laughs> Tug says hello, return, fellow people. All right, good night, sweetie. Bye, fellow people. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. Even Owens' latest attorney has given new evidence in this case that proves she filed a paternity suit in August and now claims she had a miscarriage in July. Her original story was that she miscarried in October or September, but couldn't remember when. And now her attorney says it was July 23rd, 2023. If that's the case, and she was pregnant and did miscarry in July, then everything Eckerd said she did says she did after that was all based on fraud, filing a paternity lawsuit, hounding Eckerd daily in multiple emails, texts, and phone calls, emotionally abusing him into believing she might be pregnant with his twins, threatening to keep the babies if he didn't date her, causing major media to report on her warped side of the story and damaging his reputation, filing a police report against him for harassment, and forcing him to hire legal representation while she dragged him through court from August of 2023 to the current day. It should also be noted that Owen sent Eckert a letter recently threatening a $1.3 million lawsuit if he did not drop his current action to force a decision in the paternity case that she brought. Hmm. I'm scratching my head trying to figure out how that's not extortion. Yeah, how is that not? How, how, how isn't that? I think the authorities need to investigate it. Yet attorney David Gingras, who is the third or fourth lawyer to represent Owens in this case, we've lost track, publicly <laughs> stated on his blog that even if I'm wrong and Laura has lied about everything, so freaking what? Gingras, as a member of the bar, is required to not only care about his client lying, but to alert the judge if he knows she is not being candid in front of the court. Officers of the court are supposed to care if someone has lied repeatedly to destroy someone else. Here's a fun side note that isn't really related to the topic, but I just can't help myself. Gingras has also been threatening members of the media with damaging lawsuits and wishing death on YouTubers covering his story or this story. Gingras wrote on his blog, fuck these six selfish lying assholes. Should I clarify how I feel? These vile scum, I mean, people are not helping anything. They are human cockroaches spreading feces on the floor and then spitting the facts to make them more dramatic than they really are in hopes that this will drive traffic and increase revenue for their sad, pathetic lives. It continued in a hysterical frenzy in the same manner until he ended with this doozy. I look forward to reading their obituaries briefly before throwing them in the trash where they belong. Gingras deleted that hours after he wrote it, but the archive will live in infamy. We are all thrilled that Owens finally found a lawyer who has managed to outdo her antics. Will Maricopa County apply justice equally in this case, or will Laura Owens walk freely to do it again? To date, the prosecutor has refused to even do basic research into Owen's history of false allegations, including doctoring medical evidence, which she admitted under oath when she fessed up to photoshopping her name and an imaging location onto a sonogram using Adobe Acrobat. Isn't tampering with medical records a crime? It's certainly perjury, but we all know that no one is ever prosecuted or jailed for that. How much income has Eckerd lost due to Owen's malicious emails to potential employers and media reports that sullied his name? He may never be able to calculate that number. Without total vindication and criminal charges against Owens, can he ever be made whole? Even when men get vindication through defamation suits against false accusers, as Johnny Depp did against Amber Heard, there are still people who see him as the abuser, despite the clear evidence that Heard was the one doing all the maiming and abusing. Our justice system needs to crack down on female abusers and false accusers hard. Arresting and prosecuting Esme New was a good first step, but they shouldn't stop there. Amen. That's actually Amen. a very, very good article. I like that. And Thank it needs you. to be clicked on many times. Yes. So now we go back to our <laughs> journal. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually it's very it is it, it actually brings up a, a very good point it brings up a few really good points i i thought their point about you know why is this this specific person out of 
everyone, the first person that they decide, hey, we're going to crack down on for extortion. And oh, my God, wouldn't it be amazing if we actually saw some kind of ramification for false accusations? It would be. But I also have to ask Maricopa County. Now, maybe Maricopa County doesn't have jurisdiction over Lindsay Hill because she's in California. But I do think it looks weird that the only accuser and he's had four. The only one to be arrested for it is the black girl. Yep. What's happening with that? Maybe it just looks bad and it's not what I think it is, but I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. I think she should be arrested. Don't get me wrong. But I think the other ones should be arrested too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it it is a strange first step when they go that way, especially considering, you know, all their talking points that they love to throw out there. No, no, no. We don't we don't see things like that. Okay, okay. Prove it. <laughs> Prove it. Yeah, right. So, remembering that story that we talked about in the long ago, <laughs> in the past, when <laughs> this should have taken five minutes of his time. And the total legal fees would have been zero. How how would that have worked? It, it couldn't have because she wouldn't allow it. She forced him to go to court. Yep. That means you have to hire a lawyer. And she kept dodging again, you know, when you get to the court. I mean, it was everything she's done. Everything. Again. Huh. And Laura would have lost. And Clayton would have had his justice. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. That's why I don't understand this anti-Laura mob mentality. Personally, I think when it uh, all comes out in court, people are going to realize they were completely wrong about Laura, like completely. But even if I'm wrong and Laura has lied about everything, so freaking what? This is so maddening. This is, that pisses me off. So what? Yeah. Uh, you should You should know the answer to that, asshole. I personally have a judgment that proves beyond any doubt that the Arizona Attorney General brought a false paternity claim against me, which took literally five minutes of my time and exactly zero dollars to disprove. Every case is the same. Did you realize that, man? Did you realize every case is the same? Huh? Yeah, he's an idiot. He's a total moron. I mean, good Lord. It's not even close to the same. And, he, and if he has the records of this case and he knows the timeline of this case, just the timeline alone should tell him this isn't anything like this. Your case, David, don't be such a douche canoe. You know, like we've been I'm, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here that maybe you're not as dumb as you seem, but you keep proving that you're as dumb as you seem. <laughs> Indeed. It was all over so fast. Is he, wait, was he talking about the McLovin or was he talking about the spring jets? break, the spring break encounter? <laughs> it was so all I fast. lost was maybe an hour of my time. One hour. Seems yeah, one like hour. That. that includes all the beer bongs and everything else. <laughs> and the shame. I somehow doubt that the spring break fling was an entire hour. <laughs> it was an hour of beer bongs and eight minutes of heaven. That was 20 seconds of heaven. What are you talking about? <laughs> Eight minutes of seven minutes and 49 seconds. You know, they were the heaven of undressing her and her trying to run out the room and finding out I'd locked the door. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> I, okay. I got justice in the end. Oh, he got it justice in the end. Mm, sexy. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Is that about Were there break? pricks involved? Were there pricks involved in that? I don't know. He's always complaining about pricks. No, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> allegedly. Oh, wait, I've got a kid coming in here. Give me a second. What? Where, you, where did you get sunglasses from? Are those your sunglasses? You I wear them? my sunglasses at night I so I can, so I can. Do you wear your sunglasses at night so you can, so you can? <laughs> you do? Okay. She said, yeah, she does that too. Well, why not? That's so how you, you wear them. What, what, what can you do with what? your sunglasses at night? So you can what? And watch TV with my glasses on. Oh, so you can watch TV watch at TV night. Watch TV at with night. With my glasses on. With glasses on and there's no glare. <laughs> I gotcha. Here's me. Ah. Oh, you're going to sing into a cheese stick? Is that why you really wanted it? Is that a microphone? Yeah. Okay. You want to sing us a song while I'm unwrapping this other one? Sing me a cool song. Oh, yeah. I love that song. 
Let's go. Me oh, yeah, dad's the best dad. He gives me hugs and kisses. Yeah, that's a great song. I love that. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's that's one of my favorite hits. You know. Say that to them. Yeah. Well, they can hear me. I'm telling them I could bump that in the car. Mm. Boom, mm. Boom, 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 boom. No. <laughs> She's like, no bass. <laughs> you don't like the bass to it? No <laughs> bass, Dad. Dad's the bass. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you but... love it? Yeah, I love it too. All right. Hey, take those upstairs. Hey, remember tomorrow. Tomorrow's the big day. So you better go 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 re go rest up. Remember, talk about being good. Good. We're we're having a we're having a little one dad day. Huh? I, I maybe you you go upstairs for a little while. We'll see, but we may not have time because we have to rest up. Remember, because we got to get up at early o'clock, right? And we're gonna go out and do whatever. But yes, hey, go upstairs, okay? Love you. Love you. <laughs> and right then, my oldest daughter came in and scared the crap out of me. She stuck her face around my little uh, uh my little divider here, and her face is painted like some kind of star Wars character. And I jumped out of my chair and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? She's like pre shower makeup. I'm like, what, what is pre shower? This is the thing my teenagers do. They call it pre shower makeup and they paint their faces like crazy people. Then they go take a shower and it's really funny, but it's not funny when it's dark in my office and a weird, creepy face comes around the screen. My, my my daughter today, we were moving stuff around, you know, like beautifying the house a little more. And I was carrying some stuff out of the garage and my daughter had been waiting. <laughs> she had a tarp. She was like sitting under the tarp and are just waiting for me. When I walked out there, I had this heavy freaking box and she was she started rising up with the tarp. I didn't know she was out there and scared the uh, JFG man. I was like, <laughs> JFG. JFG. Out of you? I'm going to start saying that. JFG. JFG. Yep. Oh, my God. Ugh. But, okay, let's finish. By the way, I just got a message from somebody on Twitter named JFG. I don't know if they just made that now if they, or if that's a coincidence. <laughs> oh, look. He even included his DNA test. It excluded him. Mm -hmm. Oh, father of the year. I'm sorry, not father of the year. Okay, let's go to the new one, the vanishing twin. I want to see this one. All right. Yeah, vanishing this twin. Weird. This is gonna be weird. What the hell is a vanishing twin? Thank That's you. That's what we want to know. An anonymous person recently posted this comment in my blog. Many others have said the similar thing. Many others, you don't even get that many comments, you jackass. There's not many others talking to you. I think it's important enough to warrant a direct response. Quote. I'm probably in the minority in that I'm following this case, but don't necessarily think part of the JFC crew. <laughs> I, I want proof that he didn't post this himself or lower. I didn't. <laughs> right. I don't, I don't think it's fair to make assumptions until now evidence is seen. We've already seen plenty of stuff. My God, though, I admit all evidence out there really supports Clayton's side. I agree. It's reasonable to assume she did think she was pregnant or even was early on. Yeah, this ain't somebody that's been watching this case. Heck, Clayton believed it enough to take a test. Yeah, because she said something. She was like, yo, I'm pregnant. And he's like, wait, what? What, what? You know, I mean, when when you start out, it's like, yeah, why don't, why don't you pee on that stick, please? You know, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I mean, when he says Clayton believed it enough to take a test, I, I, no, I think he was just trying to make her prove it. I don't think he yeah, believed I mean, it that, at all. I think that, I think that's saying that you don't believe it, <laughs> you know, right yeah. there. When you're like, Will yeah, you pee on, yeah. please pee on the stick, ma'am. Yeah, I know. Yeah, please pee on the stick that I bought with my own money at the store because I don't believe that you wouldn't <laughs> get pee on like a fake one. I'm sure if you really did nothing, there was a, even at risk of getting someone pregnant, you wouldn't bat an eye. Really? So some woman like tells you you got her pregnant? when you had oral sex and you wouldn't, you wouldn't. And she an ran eye. to the bathroom right after the second one. So you're thinking, Oh my God, what if she was housing it, spit it out and then somehow got it in her. 
But here is where I think the difference is that makes everyone mad. She didn't just miscarry and move on. She faked ultrasounds, which she admitted. And while she hasn't admitted to it, I think it's obvious that she faked an ongoing pregnancy while knowing she wasn't pregnant. Okay, so when you when you post that stuff, see, this post makes no sense. That like this is not somebody who kept up with this and and it's really thought about what's here, i.e showing up in court in November with a bump. So if you come in with a fake fucking bump and stuff, how can you say that she thought she was, oh, fuck, this makes me mad. Now, whether all of this, I got to get past this before I, I ran about it for a year. <laughs> now, whether all this stuff is related enough to get her in trouble in the court, I don't know. I'm not involved in law enough, but I think at least uh, the basis of everyone being so angry. Okay. Let's unpack this comment because it's something I've seen a lot of people speculating about. The theory goes, Laura had like five to six positive pregnancy tests before she filed the paternity case against Clayton. P tests, P tests. Actually, I think it was four before and then many positives after. So, okay, that's actually pretty strong proof it's she was really pregnant. Not. Yeah, it doesn't mean tests. shit. It's actually not strong at all. It's bullshit. I could take one, and depending on what medical condition like I have, it could say right. that I'm pregnant. So that means shit. Since we can't prove she faked any of these tests, we can't prove she faked any of them. Uh -huh. Prove it. Prove it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can probably give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm not giving her the benefit of shit. No, I'm not giving her the benefit of shit. She wasn't. The, she's got some kind of superpower, and she can piss positive and i don't know if it's because she's taking fertility drugs you know what we learned today tug oh my god this was big news okay so i was watching this 60 minute thing with my locals crew meganfox.locals.com we do fun shit over there uh we were watching a three-year-old 60 minutes from australia story about this crazy ass woman who faked three pregnancies she was an instagrammer and she got this soccer player involved in her scam and she, uh, she was living with a woman who witnessed her injecting herself with a medicine called Orgalatran, which is a uh, it's an IVF treatment. And it get this. One of the side effects is it makes your belly swell. Oh, wow. That's and this crazy. was three, three years ago. Is it possible that Laura Owen saw that report and went and found herself some Orgalatran? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, she did have that weird swollen belly there for a little while. This woman, they showed pictures of her swollen belly. It was quite believable. Hmm. And she was never pregnant. She's in jail right now, by the way. She was sentenced to 20 months for all the shit she did. And that was in Australia. So I guess we are seeing more uh, consequences for these false accusers. But that was crazy, you guys. That You guys got to watch that. I don't remember her name now. So but she it's on my local three page. men with fake pregnancies and got 20 months. That's it. Mm -hmm. Well, woo -woo. <laughs> well, not it was three men, one man with the three fake pregnancies. It was like a couple other men with fake cancer. She said she had cancer and they gave her a bunch of money. She said her mother died three times. She was like, Lynette, my mother's dead. My mother did not die. Um, <laughs> she, she did a whole, a whole bunch of stuff, but yeah. So it could have been, it could have been. I don't know. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt and assume that she was pregnant, at least at first. And keep in mind, the paternity case was filed August 1st, 2023. Huh. Timeline. Timeline. <laughs> Even if she was pregnant August 1st, she claims she later had a miscarriage, maybe even as late. What? Is he changing his story again? So he's changing the dates. He's changing Again? it all up. Yeah. No, he yep. just told Greg that it was July 23rd. Yeah. That that's the metadata on the alleged photos of the bloody whatever. July 23rd. How can he say that that she what? I'm so confused. If that metadata suddenly changes, I would definitely uh, I would be wondering. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, I mean, for real. And we that. know he said he said it. He wrote it in an email, which was in a uh, a filing that Greg Woodnick yep. made, and it was one of the exhibits. And he said it was July twenty third, twenty twenty three. That that it, the metadata and is. He, and he wrote it many times. And he said to Greg, "You're going to love the date because it's good for your client. It's July twenty third. 
So why now is he backtracking and saying she claims she later had a miscarriage, maybe even as late as 22 weeks into the pregnancy? What? You don't miscarry twins one at a time. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, he just, he's like, what else? I feel rage. I feel rage and anger building up inside of my throat. And it's about to come to That's out, not rage and out. anger if it builds up inside your throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, maybe I'm pregnant. Yes. You're like, I thought I was hoarse because of sinuses, but no. Mouth babies. <laughs> I thought I was hoarse from doing this stupid voice over and over again. But no, I'm pregnant. <laughs> At this late stage, if she miscarried a baby or twins, and there was between four and five months along, there must have been an obvious dead baby or babies. You can't have a dead five-month-old fetus fall out without noticing. That would make no sense. DSG note, I will agree 100%. Okay, so, oh, so that was a that was a comment from somebody else. I get it. He's not writing this. This these were comments from he says other people, and he, the DSG is him making. Yeah, he's saying I agree one hundred percent. That would make okay. more sense. Hmm. Okay. Laura has failed to offer any proof of these dead four to five month old fetuses. She never explained where they went. Therefore, she must be lying. Gotcha. Okay. For all you keyboard warriors out there who read some shit on Reddit, watch a few videos uh, on the YouTubes. You the use the Googles from 1996. <laughs> now, now you think you know everything about the pregnancies. Let me break down some hard truths for you. You're wrong. <laughs> That's not a lot of hard truths. <laughs> You're yeah, wrong. it's really not. You don't know everything. And neither do I, by the way. That's why you hire experts because average people. Oh, yeah. Like, that's you know, why you hire people to say whatever you want them to yeah. say. In court. <laughs> yeah. That's why, you, that's why you hire really expensive mouthpieces. Mm -hmm. Wait, that sounds like an escort of mouthpieces. That was like when Amber Heard hired that weirdo who said that Johnny Depp uh, pretended like he had scissors for hands. And so that shows us uh, that his behavior is, you know, a diabolical liar. And he, <laughs> they were like, he, Have you ever seen uh, acting? Yeah, when they were talking about him being like uh, Jack Sparrow, <laughs> Jack Sparrow, yeah, because he's obviously a drunk and a narcissist. Because I watched him in Pirates of the Caribbean where he played a drunk narcissist, and so that's what he is. That was so crazy. <laughs> She's like, No, seriously, stop, you don't. <laughs> D N Dave Neal, <laughs> Dave Neal. He you just called Dave it. Neal. Yeah, Dave Neal. I'm talking to you here. So this is straight to Dave Neal. I don't get it. Some people think they know it all, but the truth is, you just don't know. Seriously, stop you, Dave Neal. I'm talking to you here. Okay. Well, Dave's never said he knows everything. Dave's always been really like, I don't know. I'm kind of a dummy, but it just looks like. It looks like this is not real. And in case you didn't catch this news, Clayton has hired two OBGYN experts. Oh, wow. Two experts. Must be double winning. So much winning for the big, strong Clayton. God, he did not just say that. But for somebody <laughs> who, who hates Trump, he sure talks like him. <laughs> he does. <laughs> But Clayton has not so much winning. Anything. There's going to be so much winning. You're going to get tired. You're going to get sick of the winning. He's going to hire like five more experts, and there's going to be five times the winning from big, strong, strapping, jaw muscle <laughs> Clayton. Sounds like he likes oh. Clayton. It does. So <laughs> sexy, man. Can you imagine like, a Speedo Clayton? You'd be like, wait a minute, what, David? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I, I'm supposed to hate this guy, but he's so big and strong. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Strapping Clayton. Strapping mm. lad. With so a strong much jaw and that thick <laughs> neck. And wait, where was I? <laughs> <laughs> he starts putting in sound effects. Gurgle, gurgle. No, no. <laughs> extra large and extra hard. <laughs> But Clay, oh, let me say it. Professional, okay. <laughs> Professional. But Clayton has not shared anything about what his experts are going to say. 
having that's because they were day. waiting for the discovery they have to <laughs> yeah. see this discovery first he's like having litigated tons of cases with experts i can tell you that's not normal the experts are supposed to be out here trying the case on social media <laughs> <laughs> well i mean what he's saying is he, he would normally get an expert report you know disclosed to him before the trial but he hasn't they i think they the deadline to turn over the discovery was today. And Greg only told him like 8,000 times, I cannot give, I can't get my experts to write a report until they see your discovery. So when you give me the discovery, they will write the report and then I will turn it over to you, but not before then. But Rebel Clayton. Bird, yes, my email address is on my link tree, I think. And if it's not, it's meganfox.writer at protonmail.com. Megan, M-E-G-A-N, Fox.Writer, W-R-I-T-E-R, at ProtonMail.com. But Clayton has not shared anything about what these experts are going to say. That's not normal. There's where I was. I lost my place for a second. The, the rules require this disclosure, so I assume Clayton will be sharing that in both suit. But here's more news. Okay. Laura has hired an OBGYN expert. Just one. Sorry, not doing the twin expert thing. That's a noob move. Oh my God. He did not just use the word. Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> I'm a gamer too. That's, by the I'm way, hello, fellow kids is a line in one of my rap songs about him. <laughs> I, I knew it. I'm like a, I'm a seer, man. I know, I know what I'm talking about. This guy wants to be young and hip so bad that it's, it's, and it's giving such boomer vibes a noob move oh stop just stop stop sir <laughs> i will adjust my pocket protector and i'm going to put you <laughs> in your place <laughs> oh, God. our expert is still reviewing info and asking questions and he has not produced his expert report yet obviously that will be disclosed to clayton's team as soon as we have it oh Probably so you haven't it. disclosed it either <laughs> so wait a minute that's not normal that's not that's normal. so not normal it's not normal i mean what are you doing that's not normal so while uh, I can't tell you exactly what Laura's expert has concluded, I can share with you some information. It is absolutely possible that Laura could have been pregnant with twins, had an early miscarriage of one, continued to gain weight, and then ended the pregnancy with an SAB, the medical term for a miscarriage, all without ever passing a stillborn fetus. Look, I've spoken to an OBGYN. He says that's not possible at all. I asked him about that. Can you can you like lose one at a time and then not know when the he said it's not possible. It is not possible. But okay, let's hear about the vanishing twin syndrome. Here we go. Oh God. I've got to Oh God, he's calling there. himself Dr. Gingris. Stop uh, it. <laughs> oh no. Could you imagine this guy if he was your doctor? Oh Lord. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine this guy? He's an OBGYN now. Oh, Lord, no. <laughs> but don't take Dr. Gingras's word on this. I mean, JFG, man, JFG, the real medical thing that happens. It uh, has a pretty intriguing name, Vanishing Twin Syndrome. <clears throat> Vanishing Twin Syndrome, as the name depicts, is a condition in which one set of uh, one set of twins or multiple embryos die in utero, disappears, gets reabsorbed partially or entirely, with an outcome of spontaneous reduction of multi-fetus pregnancy to a singleton pregnancy, portraying the image of a vanishing twin. In simple words, the number of embryos conceived as observed via ultrasonogram. You mean a faked sonogram, by the way? That's fascinating. I don't know if I would want to bring up sonograms in this. Examination yeah. in early pregnancy differs from the number of fetuses delivered. This phenomenon occurs in multi-fetus pregnancies, commonly during the first trimester. Twin loss can happen in the form of miscarriage, of which the mother is aware of, or in the form of vaginal bleeding or spotting in the first trimester without any knowledge of the mother. As vaginal bleeding is instead a frequent 
gastrogenic uh, complication during the first trimester of pregnancy so that the twin loss may go unnoticed. This phenomenon can occur, I'm sorry, can range from the uh, disappearance of an early, empty, I didn't think I'd have to read a fucking medical definition. Gestational. Of this I mean, gestational I'm just sack. like blah, 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 blah. Bullshit, <laughs> Mini bullshit. blah, blah. Yes, exactly. Empty gestational sac to a sac that has developed a fetal pole to a fetus with documented heart activity. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Without getting too graphic. And to be honest, this isn't this is something I haven't ever considered. It is medically possible for a woman to become pregnant with twins, have two twins develop inside her womb, and then something goes wrong and one baby stops developing and dies, but the fetus is not discharged from the woman's body. The fetus uterus is simply reabsorbed into the body. This is a bunch of what if bullshit. I already talked to an OBGYN about this very thing, and he says no, a 15-week or 17 week fetus cannot reabsorb. And here we go. I just typed it into copilot. So the only way this could happen is very early in the pregnancy, like in July, like she said. Vanish if it's 15, it can incur occur at 15 weeks or later, but you would still go through this um labor and delivery. Like she'd have to be in the hospital. Again, you would have to go to the hospital. It, this is absurd because it says if a twin vanishes between 15 and 20 weeks gestation a fetus papresis remains this is a paper thin remnant of the fetus that may be delivered along with the placenta so you you would still be delivering a placenta like you're it doesn't just disappear babies don't it doesn't a pregnancy doesn't just disappear that late into a pregnancy that's absurd this baby, you didn't know this, Megan, but this is baby David Copperfield. It was just like, <laughs> <laughs> for my next delusion. <laughs> You're like, what? what? <laughs> I will become a baby and I will disappear. <laughs> and I will make the mother fake a sonogram. Oof. Oh, Amazing. look at this. Losing a developing fetus during the latter part of pregnancy isn't defined as vanishing twins. Instead, it's considered a late term miscarriage. Well, now that's interesting. It's like, be honest, though. Did you know such a thing was possible? Until a few days ago, I had no clue this was yes, possible. Yes, I actually did. I actually did know <laughs> that. Because I'm not an idiot, and I've heard of these things. I'm a woman, so I'm very familiar with pregnancy and all the different complications and things that can go wrong. And I have heard of this. But I have never heard of a 15 to 17-week-old fetus vanishing reabsorbing no 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 the only time you can reabsorb uh, a fetus is when it's very tiny You're, where are the bones go it was where are the bones it was kidnapped <laughs> you know i got just someone's kidnapped Maybe like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> whoa aliens we need to go back to aliens. The alien theory and she was experimented on by aliens <laughs> Call in Mulder and scully i want to believe <sighs> oh my god to be honest with you, I kind of understood why people like Clayton's lawyer were jumping up and down saying, where's the baby? Where's the baby? And the presence of any other medical explanation. And for people who are not doctors, this makes a lot of sense. You just found some random bullshit to type up and you're like, that's the answer right there. There it is. Now, you know, I'm not no a doctor, but I'm a mother and I know about pregnancy and you're full of shit, sir. Dude, just, I mean, this isn't one an expert or anybody even, he's like, I haven't heard from any experts or anything, the ones we've hired, but this is probably what happened. Oh, oh my God. God. I don't know what the expert's going to say. I bet it's going to be something different than this. Or yeah. if it's exactly this, then you'll know they paid him to say exactly yeah, this. They're paid to say something. You know, you don't pay fucking experts to come in and not say what you're wanting them to parrot. You know, that's, uh, I mean, that's what they do. That, and that, as we've seen in the Johnny Depp trial, you can pay someone to say any, any nonsense. Fucking, yeah. And they will say it. I've even seen suggestions that Laura must be lying about miscarrying so late in term because if that happened, she would have been legally required to file a death certificate for the baby or babies. Again, sounds like a cool theory, but is it solid? No, it's not. 
Oh, Lord. Everything changes when you understand it's entirely possible. Laura was pregnant with twins, had a partial early SAB. That's miscarriage for one baby. He he found a term and he's like, I'm going to use it over and over again. Mm. <laughs> I know. I know everything now. Require uh, remain pregnant with another, then had a second SAB followed by reabsorption rather than stillbirth. By legal definitions, you would not be required to file a death certificate in this case because no child was ever stillborn after 20 weeks. You can't have a 20 week old reabsorbed fetus. That's insane. <laughs> what? Give me an example, David Gingrich. <laughs> Give me ding Dingus. Dingus. Give me an example of any recorded woman in history having a 20 week old pregnancy reabsorb and disappear. Just, just one example. That's all I want. This is so bizarre, man. I'm going to, I'm going to skip all of his, um, you know, defining here. A dead fetus that is reabsorbed into the mother's body doesn't count as a fetal death because the unborn child never left the mom's body. Yes, it sounds seriously kind of creepy, but just stay with me in this case. And yes, you will still need to wait for trial to get the full or final story. It is medically possible that Laura experienced vanishing twin syndrome or something similar. <laughs> or, or something. Or something What's that? Magic? I don't know. Magic He's gonna, <laughs> yeah, like David Copperfield, baby. I told you. I got the answer. That's what he needs. He needs to write his next blog is going to be called she David She had the Copperfield second coming baby. of David Blaine inside of her. <laughs> David Blaine impregnated her on the streets of New York City. She was there for a vacation. She ran into David Blaine. He did some kind of hoogity boogity, you know, uh, hoo -goo, boo her. boo poo poo goo goo <laughs> on her. And she became pregnant with David Blaine's magical baby who can vanish. It okay. was David Blaine himself. He crawled into her <laughs> mouth and, you know, it showed in the sonogram. And then poof, 20 weeks later, he crawled back out. No evidence. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Something similar. <laughs> Something like that. That would explain literally every, literally <laughs> every detail. Every one of these, literally. Every detail of what happened to her. It would explain the positive pregnancy tests at the start. It would explain the partial early SAB, followed by more pregnancy tests, including with very low HCG tests, which confirmed the non-viability of the second fetus, followed by complete reabsorption rather than stillbirth. This explains her weight gain. It explains the not faked moon bump. It explains the numerous positive pregnancy tests followed by positive but unrealistically low HCG results. Explains the lack of fetal death certificate. Explains literally every single detail. All of it start to finish. Wait, 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 wait. I need to read that again. I wasn't okay. paying. You totally read all of attention. it. Read it. Said, possible pregnancy tests at the start. Explain the partial and early, followed by more positive tests, concluding with very low HCG tests, which would confirm the non viability of the second fetus, followed by complete reabsorption. That explains your weight gain. Explain the not fake moon bump. No. Oh, come on. Explains the numerous. That moon bump was fake. I'm sorry. I've never seen a more fake moon bump ever in my life. Explains the numerous positive pregnancy tests, followed by positive but unrealistically low HCG. Lack of field, every single detail. No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't because I don't believe that this is even a possibility. Check this out. Oh God, here we go. But hey, screw the facts. What's fun is the tr what fun is the truth when a lie sells so much better. Breadsticks aren't free. <laughs> Breadsticks aren't free. Man. No, baby, they aren't free. So send those super chats because we need that breadstick money. And yeah. by the way, can I just say, if this were real she should be in the guinness book of world records and studied by science because i'm about to ask co-pilot ai how do i phrase this what is the latest recorded no what is the yeah latest recorded occurrence yeah. of fetal yeah. reabsorption you, you do that one and i've got something i want to ask it to okay um i'm gonna ask it a very very important question i just thought of give me a second i'll get this open sooner or later 
waiting, waiting. Okay, yes, I'm gonna put okay. So, um, has David Blaine ever crawled inside <laughs> a woman's womb? Um, and hid for 20 weeks only to vanish making it look like she was never was was and wasn't pregnant okay hey uh, what are you going to tell me on this one <laughs> okay <laughs> Did <laughs> no, that's not true. David Blaine is known for his extreme magic stunts, but there's no record of him performing such an act. It sounds like a wild rumor, a fictional story. <laughs> oh man, I guess that one didn't happen. Gonna have to knock that one out. Sorry, that's not your next freaking uh, blog. JFG. So when I asked, has there ever been a recorded case of a vanishing twin happening after 20 weeks? It says. When a twin or multiple is lost after 20 weeks, the loss is considered a stillbirth. So there it is, David. You're fucking lying. The, the, it's called, even if it's a vanishing twin, it's called a stillbirth. And it says specifically after 20 weeks is relatively rare. Um, the tissue of the miscarried twin is usually reabsorbed by the mother's body over time, but it says it occurs mostly in early stages of pregnancy. I, it's not telling me how it would happen at 20 weeks. How does all of that, it's not just tissue at that point, it's bones. It's, it, it, this, this doesn't make sense. And by the way, like I said, if this were true, she should go on tour with Barnum and Bailey Circus because this is a freak show. This is something that should be studied. Be that there's no, I don't think this is possible, you guys. You guys I really don't. Uh, this is the, this is his entire thing. His, he wants to gaslight all of us. He wants to gaslight us into believing that we could be completely wrong about this woman's <laughs> recorded history of faking pregnancies. She's done this multiple well, times. I've done a very important scientific experiment. <laughs> I told it to tell me a funny story about David Blaine crawling into a womb and hiding for 20 weeks, making it seem that there is and isn't a pregnancy. <laughs> and it said, so David Blaine, <laughs> renowned magician and illusionist, decided to pull off his most mind boggling stunt yet. The great <laughs> womb escape. <laughs> a great womb escape. <laughs> Now, hashtag, hashtag the great womb escape. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> he announced to the world that he would crawl into a, to a womb and hide there for 20 weeks, <laughs> making it seem like there was and wasn't a pregnancy. As the news spread, people were intrigued and utterly confused. Some thought it was genius, while others questioned his, his sanity. Nonetheless, the crowds gathered around what had to be a giant womb. In the middle of Times Square, eagerly awaiting the spectacle, <laughs> David, dressed in a baby onesie, crawled into the womb with a mischievous grin on his face. The countdown onesie. began, and for weeks, the world watched in anticipation. Rumors spread like wildfire. Was he really in there? Was this just an elaborate hoax? Meanwhile, inside the womb, David had a blast. He decorated the walls with magic tricks. <laughs> <laughs> practices card tricks with imaginary spectators or perhaps <laughs> the unborn baby it said <laughs> and even conducted many magic shows for himself finally <laughs> after 20 weeks of suspense the moment of truth arrived the womb was opened and out popped david dressed in a diaper holding a deck of cards the crowd erupted in laughter and applause realizing that they had been both tricked and entertained in the most unexpected way possible and that's the story of how David Blaine turned the concept of pregnancy into a magical illusion. <laughs> well, we've, we've got our answer, folks. It was David that's, Blaine's fault. That's how it happened. <sighs> I don't understand how this is a thing. 
Yeah, some people are like, what the fuck? Yeah, you just say. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's 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 as believable as what I've just read, you know. <laughs> but hey, screw those facts, you know. Again, those breadsticks aren't free. People want more drama, more scandals, more lies. It's not than... true. I want truth. I'm always interested in the pursuit of truth. That's what this is about for me. It's about finding out what is true and protecting a dude who really did nothing wrong except stick his dick in a crazy throat one night like he and just, he paid for it for a year and so did a bunch of other people he's just threatening to sue us yet again oh great i can't wait so i agree screw the truth just keep blogging about what a liar Lori is what a saint clayton is and what an immoral scumbag attorney i am for standing by laura's side so <laughs> no that's, that's your job I'm... you got paid to be her attorney you're not immoral for being uh her her representation that's your job he's immoral if he's like hey screw it if she's lying well you which know? he kind so of is what? he's like who cares I mean, that's the thing is that like, it's not because you're her attorney that we think you're immoral and a scumbag, but it's because you said, if you found out she was lying, you were going to drop her. And now you're like, even if she lied about everything, who freaking cares? That's your, own, those are your own words. That's why we say you're an immoral scumbag. Sorry, but, and that's no free speech. Chance. folks. Yeah. Well, he's a free speech lawyer, a lawyer, but at you the should same know time, that. no chance Laura will sue any of you into homeless oblivion. When it's all done, because we all know you really try darn hard to be honest and fair. Just not sure a jury will see it that way. Well, we gave all of her evidence and we're giving it right now. Again, we're reading all of his his before now, by the way, Laura's attorneys didn't speak to the press. All we had were Laura's Dropbox uh, evidence, which we shared and we debunked because it's garbage. We also read her Medium articles, which were absolutely retarded. We read this the media, the Sun articles. We read all of her evidence. Everything that her side put into the court record, we read. We looked at. So it is false that we did not tell her side of the story. And it is it's just as false then as it is now, because here we are reading her lawyer's side of things. And we're saying <laughs> this doesn't make any fucking sense. And I have a right to think that. Yes, you were allowed to have your opinion on something. Oh my God, Rosalind Duke says, hashtag escape womb. <laughs> <laughs> David Blaine's escape womb. Oh, it's funny. Just remember what our friend Mark Twain said here. It ain't what you don't know that gets you into trouble. It's what you know for sure that just ain't so. Uh huh. This guy, for somebody, for somebody this who mother, knows what this mother, I, is. He, he, he just he threatens every he threatens the lawyers involved. He goes after their careers. He's, I mean, th this is scumbaggery. He can say whatever the fuck he wants to be, but you know, provide me the definition of a scumbag and that behavior well it seems to fit the bill you know trying to intimidate lawyers off the case you know go ahead i mean damn i'm i'm sure a jury would uh in, enjoy um you talking about how everyone's a cockroach and you want to dance on our graves and so that's just you know that, that's that's totally being non-biased that's totally al allowing us our our free speech Mm. he's unbelievable because uh, there's for somebody who claims to know about defamation in order to prove defamation especially against a, a limited purpose public person as she is um you have to prove actual malicious malice. actual malice none of this has been uh, i have been under the impression the entire time that everything i have said is what i think is the truth and we have tried to tell her story, her many, many different stories that change over time and have tried to hold them up to the evidence we have and say, does this make any sense? And I've given it my best faith effort and I've no, come no. up with, fuck no, it doesn't make any sense. This lawyer provided us a date. The date, it ends before the lawsuits begin. 
before her filing begins. So if he wants to talk about good faith or any of this other bullshit, you're talking about, again, you, yourself, in communications with another lawyer, repeatedly hammered down a date that you have not corrected, by the way. So if you want to talk about, you know, our formulation of ideas, hey, you put that out there, not us. I mean, that was your evidence. You were bragging about, oh, can't wait till this pops up. Just can't wait. We saw your emails on it. Oh, my God. And you're the one who provides us with this stuff. That's the most fucked up thing about Yeah, so it. we're not supposed to talk about all this crazy shit he puts out there on his blog. And if we do talk about it now, we're and we make fun of it because it's retarded. We're the ones who are going to be sued into oblivion and homelessness. And by the way, it's pretty interesting to me that Laura Owens, you know, spoiled rich girl, wants to sue a bunch of people who are middle class into homelessness while she lives on daddy's $25 million in the casita. Yeah, that makes sense. But we're just a bunch of working people out here who are like, um, this doesn't add up. You think the breadstick money is, uh, you know, doing anything other than <laughs> bolstering my my groceries, my grocery bill every week? Uh, I just, uh, you know, again. <laughs> like I said, you can have my my mom van, my minivan that has one hundred ten thousand miles attention. on it. This wasn't this wasn't a random thing that people just picked up out of it. She brought this. She wanted to it. The attention of the world. People were allowed it. to scrutinize what is there because she told people to look at it. She provided her so-called evidence. She admits doctored sonograms. We've had this inconclusive. So again, yeah, I, I don't, I don't fuck him. I don't care. Fuck him is right. Uh, fuck you, I, JFG. Fuck you. Let's look at some super chats. Let's look at some super bread sticks. Grandma's house. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the membership. Welcome to Tugs. Thugs. Appreciate you. Bad Duck. Thank you for the five there. Thank you again for the expert raid last night. You guys had an awesome stream. So many in chat talking about the great stream. Yeah, I thought it was a good conversation. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Fallen Hero. Thank you for that gifted membership. Good to see you, my friends. As always, appreciate you. Deborah. Thank you also for a gifted membership. Appreciate that. Thank you. Darth. What's up, Darth Chaz? Thanks for the two there. Check out Vice's Turtle War intro. <laughs> I don't look at that. Oh, it's Is really it? funny. Uh, I, mean, I it's don't know. It's super funny. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you for the gifted membership there, too. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Wheezy Wheels, thanks for the fun there. Watching what the hell's is like uh, watching a zip popping video. You just can't look away. Oh no. <laughs> On the plus side, I haven't crashed my wheelchair lately, Tug. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing okay too with that. Kate, thanks for the fun there. New subscriber. Love both you and Megan. Tramp Stamp Lawyer has a new blog post out today. Oh, yeah. We saw that. We there are our theories on it. Yep. That's what we got to. So, yeah. Thanks. Froggy Girl, thanks for the 21 months. Oh, my God. A song would be funny. You know, talking about your, your new song list there. She mm -hmm. obviously never had any writing classes or was absent from school in those days. <laughs> 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 she sounds like she skipped a what school? What is school? Oh. Miss Tressel, thanks for the day. Well, at least she didn't say film at 11. Indeed. Kinks, thanks for the five. Yikes. Stay tuned. Good times. Good times indeed. <laughs> Miss Jackson, thanks for the five. She is so clueless. She has no idea that all she's doing is giving you guys uh, more funny content. I, I think. I think she'll disguise it as her trying to just, you know, do something like that. But really, it's all butthurt is what it is. <laughs> I think so. Patricia, thanks for the 10. Uh, Shark had a GoFundMe for her son. So much for our multi-money wannabe, indeed. Amy, thanks for the 10 there. If she uh, has that much money and a supporter of LP, why she's not donating? See, I thought these were good points. <laughs> I thought those were very good points. Theresa, thanks for the two there. Please try to interview her. Pretty please. <laughs> yeah, Megan, drop her a link. Like in three years, she'll probably try to get in. 
uh, I would love to hear like a, a Megan off between her. That would be really funny. <laughs> Good Tracy things to do. Here's for the Megan Fox demonetization. Oh, <laughs> Thanks I'm for glad. sending Tug my uh my super chat. I yes, appreciate that. Yes, yes, make sure she's you heard that. Keep clip it coming. That. Keep it yes. coming. Yes, clip that. So every time that she's on a stream, you know, just make sure that um, you know, make sure that she there's a PayPal link for mine. Just take it over <laughs> there and, and she's good with that. <laughs> Sarah, thanks for the two. No statement, plenty of statement backing. Thank you. Appreciate you. Allie, thanks for the two. Her music career had an so outage. Funny. I love that one. This thanks for the 10 there. Sharp wasn't a donor for Lionette's retainer. Uh, Jeremy Hale knew who gave the 7K. I also knew the guy who gave the additional 3K. She doesn't have that much money to donate. Yeah, I think the money thing is a bunch of BS, you know? Again, Larry here noted for the five from NJ Larry to keep from Megan. Oh, I love it. That's what I mean. <laughs> I'll hold, I'll hold that for her. You'll you hold know? that. I'm sure. I'll hold that over her head. You know what? Know. I'm, I'm feeling generous. Give it to the candy fund. No, no. I'm going to, I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to hold it <laughs> up. I'm going to, I'm going to take a picture of it one day. I'm going to be like, look at all these. I'm going to feather Here's it these out. Super chats that I was holding for you. I'm going to be like, this is Mark Feathers, baby. It's called Feathered Cash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, thanks for the two. Hashtag, hashtag cockroach cash train. Mm, thank you there. And also, Ellie, thanks for the vibe for breadsticks. Man, I'm glad that would, that actually became uh, very relevant during this. Kill the bite. Thanks for the vibe. Can't wait to hear the boo hoo, poo poo, goo goo song. <laughs> Mega Box Rocks. Yug, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> it too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll I'll tell that to Yug. You know, he's a friend of mine. <laughs> Joan, thanks for the, the month there. You make my evenings. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Ellie, thanks for the two. Hashtag proud pond scum. Pond scum, passy, saddle up. The we pride at dawn. dawn. <laughs> pond scum, posse. He has so much good stuff that comes out of these. I know. Uh, I think so. The two hashtag number one YouTube joke list award. Mm, look at that. And with a trophy. That's nice. I like it. <laughs> Miss Trucks, thanks for the find there. If she is sunshine, light and light, uh, she is the polar opposite of every of everything Jersey girls are. As a Jersey girl, I vote her off the island. <laughs> 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 that's funny <laughs> wheezy wheels things there megan had my ramen money but there's a little left oh, <laughs> thanks wizzy yeah yeah thank you for uh thank you for making sure to crack off a little of that ramen money for me i appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the uh, month here uh, i'm a proud member of the cash train groupies shark uh can take her fake news with her egg up boobs and boo boo <laughs> boo hoo somewhere else. Bweebs, bweebs, bweebs the is bleep. hilarious. Oh, they're the bweebs. Bweebs. <laughs> the bleeps. Janice thinks it's in there. As someone said, Charlotte lives off her paramour, Keith Linton. He once broke up with her on a live with Miko Hayes. He told her she was <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my God! I need to see that live. That might be we funny. did. I, that was the one we were watching. So that's it? He broke up with her on that. I think so. I think oh it goes further God. on into it. She breaks her boyfriend breaks up with her. Oh my God! That would be it's good. Somebody clip that and, sh and send it. To me. That'll be. <laughs> I'll put it in the intro. Uh, <laughs> there in hey there, Tug, Megan, and Chad too. Why not title it as "Best Used Words in a Song Ever"? <laughs> I like the goo goo blah 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 whatever. Mini blah <laughs> mini blah blah. Sarah, thanks for the vibe. Have you all seen the new excuse? Yep, just looked at it. It was beautiful there. Mark, it's thanks insane. for being great interview with Madam Mayor. I'm late to the live, but just letting you know. Thank you. Yeah, I, I mean that lot. Yeah, it filled in a lot of blanks, a lot of places. I like that. I like seeing all the other stuff that's going on. Kane's things for the five there. All the JFD condoms, ball gags. <laughs> wow. That was getting hard to get past censors. I thought that one was funny too. <laughs> Rita Wright, thanks for the two. I just keep uh, seeing her bad faces when Megan reads. Indeed. I, I imagine that when you do. Hey. Wendy, thanks for the vibe. Hey, Tug and Megan. Great live with expert Tug last night. Thank you. 
thought that was pretty good like i said susan thanks for the two hashtag hashtag gaga or hashtag hashtag dingus berry <laughs> dingus berry <laughs> uh, jennifer thanks for the five he's a lawyer pr guy because he seems to suck lol at both <laughs> indeed i like that double entendre uh tracy thanks for the two here is a reliable test a ouija board Am I bragging it? <laughs> Signs point to yes. Hey, magic eight ball. <laughs> magic eight ball. You know, oh man, I need to get. It. Is there an online magic eight ball? Probably. I, I gotta find out real fast. Let's say online magic eight ball. Give me one second. Whoops, not going over. Online Careful. magic eight ball. Eight ball. Hmm. Online magic eight ball. Yeah, there's one. Hmm the original fortune teller Ooh, here it is let's <laughs> oh my god i wonder if this thing works let's check this out i'm gonna pull this up real fast let's see what it does i can't wait okay um okay is the vanishing twins um theory correct let me see. Yeah. Oh, shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, We're wow. Spinning. We're spinning. Ooh, that seems that possible. Seems possible. Oh, man, right. maybe onto something. If um, the magic eight ball says it's possible, wait, 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 I, guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. What about I David Blaine? I told you. Vanishing twins, baby. <laughs> what about David Blaine? <laughs> Would that win me, right? ask it shake it out come on tell spin, me spin 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 it out come on from what i heard no damn david blaine damn. what it's about david him. copperfield there's a lot of david <laughs> there's there. a lot of davids who can do magic and disappear things <laughs> uh, <laughs> what about come on it'll never <laughs> happen <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh... okay okay I'm done with that one. That's fine. <laughs> I just had to know. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for the buck there. Uh, no statement that it'll allow, but plenty of statement. Thank you. Mark, thanks for the 10 there. Plot twist. The Giggis rakes up from a ledge coma and says, I never wrote any of that. It was someone <laughs> pretending to be me and Laura paid them to do it. <laughs> that would be a fascinating one. Sarah, thanks for the two. Maybe Greg G hacked his blog too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that could be <laughs> that's what happened uh, all right smart ass there's legal yeah thanks for if the i squiggly. was if i did know him in college i wasn't looking at his earlobes i'll just tell you that no know. time to look at his earlobes like, <laughs> he was like i don't know man if they're like dumbo size you'd be like mm, <laughs> yeah. if they were dumbo size i wouldn't have been you know hanging out <laughs> just saying uh, you were like here's a feather now tell me about magic trick he's like <laughs> sf thanks for the team megan tell tug about the aussie she did i she, did yeah yep that worked in that was good all right thanks for the vibe at this point it seems her lawyer took this case on a personal level at first because of his experience now he's backpedaling I feel I feel like he's just throwing anything out there and seeing what sticks, you know? And I mean, again, it's fascinating because he's saying people aren't allowed to speculate, but he just told us he speculated. He just came up with a, a, a just some random thing to explain away what he wants to be true. There is and nothing now on Twitter. He is saying, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this is what the expert's going to say. I don't I don't really know. Baloney. Yeah, so he doesn't know what an expert says. So that's just him speculating on a case. Huh. Weird how that works, right? <laughs> it's really weird. Tracy thinks of the two. He has the mental acuity of a tree stone. <laughs> oh, I, I thought that was pretty good, too. I did. I like it. You wouldn't just say like a tree because trees are really intelligent, yeah. but a dead yep. tree. Yeah, <laughs> not so. He's like, I feel really stumped here. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky Widget, thanks for five. Hey, you Tug and Megan. Happy birthday, Megan. Yeah, that's Thank right. You. Happy birthday. Look at this money. Woo! 
I mean, wait, <laughs> Jay stays for the 10 for the bug candy fun and cheese fun. Yeah, she likes that cheese sticks too. She's so adorable. I miss that age of my kids, grandkids. Oh, she's cheese she's a cutie. Fun. She's hilarious. <laughs> Rebecca, thanks for the two. Parkinson's med and psych meds. So will any of those actually have a impact on testing? I don't know. That I do not know. I know epilepsy medicine can. Hmm. But I don't know if she was on the type of medicine that, you know, screws around with HCG. <laughs> and Simone thinks of it too there. He's so infuriating. Yeah. <laughs> Rhea Rye is like, thanks for the two. Dr. Gingras does your smear test. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag yikes, guys. Wait till you hear my song. Hashtag yikes. The yes. chorus, let me just tell you, it's hashtag yikes. Texas, yuck. Motion denied. <laughs> Must be bad luck. It's great. It's great. Oh, see, you're going to have a lot of, see, you're going to get addicted to that stuff. And you're going to be like, man, I got a new one. I got a new one. I'm going to have to throw I'm this in my to, next stream. I'm going to have to pay for it. And I don't want <laughs> you know, to do it. It's not a, it's not a terrible. But I'm hooked. Cost. I was up till 3 a.m. Last night. I know. You'll train to sleep for it. That's <laughs> what I've been saying. 3 a, I, look, I mean, and I didn't even feel the time going by, you know, like I was into it so hard that. I just, it was like 10 p.m. And the next time I looked at the clock, it was three. That's crazy. Hilarious. Megan, how dare you do that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's see. Heather, thanks for the two. This guy can't be for real. He's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, he's real. <laughs> and he is ridiculous. Laura, thanks for five. He's changing the defense at least four times now. Just stop now to redeem yourself in dignity. Both of you. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. He needs to. They need to. I think Lindsay. he means I think he means us. Like, stop trying to defend it. <laughs> like he's we, we don't need to defend our position. He's the one who's ridiculous. And I, I agree with that. But it the level of gaslighting in this case, though, it does make you go, because we are people who are after the truth, it does make you go, Oh my God, could I have missed that? Did, did I miss no, I this? I think it's, I think they're saying like both of them, like stop by, you know, that's <laughs> why I took it. Both of them. Yeah, maybe. Cause you know, I mean, he has, he's changed his defense four times now. At least. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, when they go through, like what really infuriated me to read was when we were reading that, that prior case, because the way the prior case, if people missed that, when we did a read through, essentially you get to this part where you find out how the protective order came about. You had her track down the girlfriend or the, the person that uh, this, this guy that she ends up filing against uh, that he's been with. And she finds she, she has a first name. She tracks down the Facebook profile of this person, writes them some crazy accusations. So he goes to the police and says, hey, she's stalking me. You know, what the heck? So the police go to her and they ask her about her claims. She says, oh, there's been, there was DV, all of this. They follow up according to her and she ends up filing a complaint with the DV, she ends up following up with, uh, I think she said the sheriff. I don't remember. Yeah, Another law sheriff. enforcement. It was sheriff, the sheriff. Yeah. So they end up with her stalking. They end up having her file and she gets a protective order against the person that made the original complaint, which is insanity is when you think about that. It oh. really is. And when you think about her number of cases with these guys that exist and we've got victim zero or victim number one matt who won't come forward as every day goes by it gets even more ridiculous and offensive to me that he won't come forward it really does like he's allowing this guy to try and put some now maybe he's had to sign an nda or something i don't know i don't know i guess that could be possible as part of an agreement for her to leave him alone but I think it's very, it's, uh, if he doesn't have something like that, I think it's unacceptable to stay quiet at this point. I think maybe people like a tramp stamp lawyer might intimidate some people too. You know, you never know. This <laughs> guy has ton, tons of money though. Like he doesn't need to be intimidated by anybody. He, he's got 
bulldog lawyers of his own who are paid way more than tramp stamp lawyer over here. So crazy. <laughs> Emma, thanks for the 10. After 14 weeks, if a baby dies, it can become a stone baby where it's just calcified, also known as was litho. Pedian, is that right? Um, hmm, it has to be removed. Stone baby. Yeah, now I've seen some stuff with that. It won't just and then, vanish. Though. But it would have to be removed, right? Yeah, yeah, that was here. Sorry, I didn't pull that up there. You know, and oh my. Well, I mean, according so, okay, Copilot mm -hmm. AI is is not very clear on the vanishing twin thing, which is maybe why they chose this as a defense, because it's basically saying, oh yes, it can happen in the second trimester, but then it gives no examples of that. All it says is that your doctor would want to monitor you closely, and then it doesn't have any more information about second trimester or third trimester vanishing twins, which leads me to believe that there are no examples of these things. So, oh, and so, I can't find any articles where it, it's like, oh, yes, this happens all the time. That was just all random speculation, though. I mean, it was like, well, this could have happened, maybe, sort of. That explains everything, right? You know, and it's like, oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. It doesn't explain anything. It doesn't explain anything. Hmm. Lindsay, thanks for the 10 there. Mara Jane. Get out of our pond. Get out of my pond. <laughs> Nevette thinks of uh, being in her second trimester. She should have had the medical procedure DNA instead of a DNC. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yeah, but what, what they're saying is in this very, very rare thing that can happen, maybe that it 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 could just reabsorb into the body and then only have some bleeding. Mm, I, I, I'm going to need to verify that with experts and see what they have to say. I'm, I'm saying that sounds like bullshit to me when you're that far along. And also his last story about her uh, July 23rd miscarriage is that the doctor, the telehealth, the telemedicine doctor verified that she had a miscarriage and that she was fine and she didn't need to be seen. Now that makes more sense at eight weeks than it does at 17, because at 17, you would have to be seen. So why is he telling Greg that there was a miscarriage at, 20, at uh, July 23rd, where it was, you know, she, ha she sought a telehealth doctor to tell her that it was a miscarriage. And now suddenly there's a <laughs> mysterious twin that remained and kept growing, and she still thought she was pregnant even after being told she had a miscarriage? That doesn't make sense. It totally makes sense, Megan. You don't know what you're talking about. And let me let me tell you, if she was told in July that she had a miscarriage, and she then her belly kept growing, are you telling me she didn't run immediately to the OBGYN and say, what's going on? I had a miscarriage? So there should be records of a sonogram to check out what's happening. But there's no sonogram. That didn't happen. She sought no medical care and her belly was still growing after she bled and had the picture of the bloody sacks or whatever. No, this none of this makes any sense. It's all crazy. It's all crazy. OMG, Aggie. Thanks for the two. The dingo took that babies. It took that babies. I like yeah, actually dingo the word ain't my baby. That dingo took my babies. <laughs> oh, that's my best Australian. That reminds me of Seinfeld. A dingo ate my baby. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> it sounds terrible. Uh, Southern terrible. To do my Aussie. Australian is bad too. Mine's terrible, you know. Oh, my dingo ate my babies. <laughs> 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 uh, Sherry, thanks for the five. Co-worker, pregnant, twins, 20 years ago, one died after 20 weeks, Aww. had to carry to term, being tested for, how do you pronounce that? Preeclampsia. Preeclampsia. Every week, my baby born, one stillborn. That's so sad. Horrible. Like all these people telling about the tragedies they've been through because of you know, these cases bring this stuff up. Again, that's the that's the real insult off of it. It's not just what happens to Clayton. 
it's what happens to everyone you know yeah. my pretty my pretty thanks for the two hot off the press juggle list respect <laughs> is that respect? response oh, response oh, response there's more my... oh holy jesus to me <laughs> <laughs> already boy i didn't know she was such a dedicated fan maybe it's in your email check your email all right i'm looking I don't see it in my email. Crikey. I'm going to stop doing that. Crikey. So Crikey. It's in mine. All right. Quit up. <laughs> I'm getting there. Oh, here we go. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm addicted. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh, God. Is it that good? Oh, my God. No, I haven't read it yet. I'm just oh, laughing no. at you. I thought, oh, my God. You got it. <laughs> Jesus, she wrote a book. I can't believe I have to read all of this. Oh my God, look at all My of commentary this. in a big political story. Why is he escalating against all the innocent previous administration council members and their family members again? He also questioned why they don't hang out at town hall regularly since he's been around. Um... He hints to having a bodyguard at town hall again on a motorcycle this time. In the past, <laughs> he has claimed that his crew are armed with firearms, ready to take action if Michelle or John wait, wait, show up to wait. the... You misread that. It's fire squiggly arms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, his crew are armed with fire squiggly arms, ready to take action if Michelle or John show up at their town hall meeting. Shock face emoji maybe that's one of the reasons the council members stay away from their town hall on non-meeting days i've also been told <laughs> the ongoing harassment is terrifying for the elderly council members wait, more so, on this soon what, stay what? tuned wait so she's telling us the reason they canceled three meetings is because he has a motorcycle gang armed with fire <laughs> arms. <laughs> Oh, a shit. motorcycle gang. Oh, Jeremy, crazy. Jeremy, are you in the chat? Do you have a motorcycle gang? Motorcycle with, squigglies? With squiggly squiggly firearms? Uh, the fire are, do, squigglies. Are they made out of pool noodles? <laughs> he pulled a pool noodle on me. I don't know what to do. More on this soon. Wow. He talks about cameras everywhere. Not only does the town hall look like an echo. Oh, look and echo like a vacant <laughs> jail cell since bestie Showtime actress Mayor swept through on her way out of town. The whole town looks like a ghost town as all the residents take cover in their homes. It's probably from all those squiggly fire squiggly arms. Why did he face a camera directly on Michelle's home and install an additional audio eavesdropping recording device in the woods directly across from her home where her <laughs> innocent little girl lives and should be able to play without being filmed and audio recorded as she talks to her mommy in her own yard? I have been told many in the town feel like a never-ending hail squiggly storm nightmare <laughs> has taken over the poor little... Oh, hell, now I gotta go find the other one, damn it. <laughs> Hold, please. Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, she, she talks to her mama in her own yard. I have been told many in the town feel like a never-ending hail squiggly storm nightmare has taken over their poor little town. Meanwhile, the sheriff is busy investigating the innocent victims for measuring their own yard, Squiggle, checking their mail peacefully, their mail hash. What is that? What is that? It's a... It's a hyphen. They're male hyphen peacefully attending their own town hall. <laughs> you meeting. didn't pull it up. You didn't pull it up. We can't see. Oh, it. shit. I thought I did. <laughs> You're asking about a hyphen. I'm like, where is it? Where's the hyphen? There we go. Okay. Wait, there, here we go. Now it's here. <clears throat> All right. Ready. <clears throat> uh, meeting <laughs> hyphen going to their sheriff for help hyphen parking. at the, What is a help hyphen parking? <laughs> at the courthouse. 
<laughs> for their court hearing hyphen standing in their own yard, etc., etc., etc. Surprise face emoji. Sexy face with a big mouth <laughs> opening. No, no, <laughs> that's not own face. face. Oh, 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 oh. He said he has served innocent Thomas to take him to court like everyone else. He talks about a long list of court cases like a domino effect in the past. Is that what this is? Is that what they have said? <laughs> what coattails? Uh, scratch and chin emoji face. Confused face? Raised eyebrow face? I, I don't know. <laughs> Why is he harassing our war hero council member, Don, and his precious family again while he tries to serve his community? M. Why is everyone going to court and going to jail? I wonder if top shelf groupie surface news fox fox emoji and then the groupie train toot toot train emoji will be able to keep up. Confused face. Things are <laughs> going to pick faced. up in this case. Up emoji. <laughs> I'm confused faced. <laughs> I didn't even read all that such BS. <laughs> <laughs> wait, there's one more. There's oh, more. Jesus. Oh, God. Here's another. Oh, one. wait. Okay. Wrong tab. I have to open it in a new tab so we can we can zoom in. Okay. There we go. To, okay, here we go. All right. All right. Uh this is I didn't even read all of that. <laughs> Such BS. <laughs> Things are definitely picking up in this case without any help from you. You were royally humiliated by Megan and Tug today. Please, please give them more of your jokes. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, and Char, why have you not donated to Lynette's defense fund? Waiting for that check on the first? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That was harsh. <laughs> Man, I mean, Lord. I I think crack addiction sometimes is a little more clear than what she says. Oh, my God, Lord. I don't know where she gets. But it is. It is glorious. Thank you, Chill Glo uh, Goblin. It is. Her writing is just glorious. I love it. I, I do love too. It. I do too. Like, I like uh, this super she chat. She needs to write a book. She needs to write a book. The super she chat's should. funny. It's just breadstick. Thanks for the <laughs> Breadsticks. <laughs> Indeed. Breadstick. We need Long those breadsticks. breadsticks. I just need that's a breadstick singular, by the way. That's just one five dollar breadstick. Just one five dollar breadstick. I love um, it. Yeah. That's the way breadstick should be. You know. Subi Sue. Thanks for the five there. Thanks for all the laps. You are both amazing. Candy money, because I can't resist. <laughs> well, thank you. Me and the uh, me and the short round, we are going to go out and spend some. She was like, I was like, hey, what do you want to do tomorrow? Bubble gum. <laughs> I was like, what? Again, yeah. bubble, bubble gum. gum. That's so it. That's easy. it. First time, bubble gum. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Bubble gum. I'm going to get bubble gum. Yeah. You're going to take me to get bubble gum. Steph, thanks for the 13 months. Love when the two of you when you live and when you stream live. Of course. We've been it's been fun. We've been uh <laughs> like bouncing back and forth on each other's streams, you know. It it's has been, been fun. fun. It has been. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks for the 14 months. You're awesome together. Two times more laughs and fun. Yeah, I know. Fun times, double fun times. Squiggly, fire squiggly arms. I'm fire and she's squiggly arms. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh my god uh, love y'all chats and mods too yes much love to the chat much love to the mods much love to you all thank you all of you for being here by the way <laughs> gay man thanks for the uh, 10 there enjoy to be shared with the megan or maybe many days or maybe enjoy oh many days yes manicure days yes oh, oh. manicure for the days. kids for the kids yeah. the girls manis yes. yeah the mani petties yeah yeah i my daughter asked me about that dad have you ever had a, a, your feet done i was like do i look like i've ever had this my, you my should do it it feels good oh my gosh <laughs> please pull up my screen general tuggernaut has outdone himself <laughs> <laughs> it's all an illusion <laughs> it's the vanishing twins oh and <laughs> the magician twins <laughs> it's 
David Blaine or somebody. I don't know who it's, that is, but it's funny. It's, it's <laughs> good. Uh, <laughs> that is so bizarre. <laughs> oh my god, it is. It's oh, so bizarre. Oh it's so good. <laughs> I said thanks for the while. The joke list has that new paragraph. We just hit that with thank you to uh, Navy Vet. Well, thanks for the file there. Oh no, I'm going to be 70 I'm on two different seizure medications. Please don't tell Oh, me you should doctor. go get a pregnancy test and pee yeah. on it and see if it comes up pre uh, pregnant. That would be hilarious. Yeah. yeah, you should, you know, for science. <laughs> Or maybe there's somebody that you're like, yeah, I want to tell. I, I too want to file in Arizona and say someone's my baby daddy. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah, Lord. exactly. Uh, Janice, thanks for the 10. But these people don't have shorts. Rock eater of an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> you know, normally when you see say somebody is a rock eater, you mean they're too stupid to not know rocks aren't food. <laughs> I mean, a rock eater of an attorney. That's a funny one. I love it. Oh, it's hilarious. Maybe that's, uh, you know, they've been talking about remaking the never ending story. Maybe that's what it's going to be about. Hmm. Yeah. I have no idea. But this is OK. The AI on Twitter right now is killing me. Share my screen again. Okay. This is a pregnant breadstick full of raining cash. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Like, this? Yeah. <laughs> Freddie Prager. Freddie Prager, you are you are a mess, sir. Uh, oh. but it's hilarious. Oh my god. I want to have a pregnant cockroach. <laughs> a, being an AI generator, I need that. Okay, I want a pregnant cockroach uh, in short shorts. <laughs> 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 uh, staring at we have finally reached the ai portion of the stream Brett everyone Stanley. who's been waiting for it we have oh reached it we are there please fasten your seat belts and put your tray tables up we are about to come in for a landing in the land of ai and it's going to get weird uh if you could share to the screen my my screen tug we have another pregnant breadstick in the pond scum oh, <laughs> that, that breadstick oh my is god pregnant. this pregnant roach thing is <laughs> fucking hilarious i can't wait oh it's gonna take me a minute i got a screenshot i these. can't I wait on, i pull them up on my phone you know so i don't lock up the stream <laughs> oh, oh god. god oh god well are... for those of you wondering david gingras's uh douche canoe esquire's new tweet is for all you speculators i am not saying that i know what our expert's opinion will be he hasn't written his report i will disclose it when he does all i'm saying is there's more info that then people know maybe clayton is 100 percent right and maybe he's not don't know yet oh my god so <laughs> He's playing the, I don't even know. I don't even know what the truth is. Uh-huh. Is that, that what he feels like is going to get him out of? Uh, yeah, but at the same time, he is, he's is trying to do this cast reasonable doubt. You know, he's he's trying this in the public. He's trying it in the press because he knows he's not going to get real far with the judge. But he has to do as much, you know, damage control for her as possible. And there there will be stupid people out there who look at this stuff he's putting out there and go, well, maybe she didn't lie. Maybe, maybe. Well, you know, there, there are armies of morons out there. So. That's true. I mean, there's people who believe Lindsay Hill. There are people who believe this lying liar who literally planned, planned to get Trevor Bauer to beat her, to choke her. And then she went to the police and claimed she was essayed. It's so crazy, man. Yeah, it's, horrible. It's, well, it's so crazy that people just, they just believed this stuff, you know, and it happens so often. But, I mean, and we've seen it happen so often. We've seen people, you know, the accusation comes up. It ruins people. Oh, my God, these are funny. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I think I'm ready for this. Here we go. I think these were worth waiting for. Check it out. They really get the short shorts down. Check that out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that just looks like a fat bodybuilder. Oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that was like, this. ooh, I want some bread. Are those, 
<laughs> are those underwear made out of underwear. towel material? <laughs> yes. Those are like, what do you call that? What do you call the towel material? What do you call that? Oh God, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Chat. Oh, chat. Come on. What do you call? What do you, what is that? The towels are made out of. That is so seventies. <laughs> I love it so much. They actually used to have shorts like this made out of that very stuff. What it, what is it called? Terry chat? cloth. Terry cloth. That's it. Is that no Terry? Yeah, Terry. Terry yeah. Oh my God, that's funny. I like that he's uh. holding dollar bills. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at his little shoes. <laughs> his Look little at the short shorts. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's counting his breadstick money. <laughs> oh God. Uh, that was pregnant. <laughs> little short pants. <laughs> he's got dollars shoved in bread. <laughs> That is not a breadstick. That is a hot dog bun. Oh, I just like to point God. out that that is not no, a breadstick. Oh, no, <laughs> I, think, I think my favorite is that one, <laughs> actually, out of all of them. Uh, oh, that's fantastic. Oh, these are good. These are beautiful. Oh, my God. I love the AI. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I've got a okay. few more super chats to it. Lindsay thinks of the five, the odds of vanishing twin, uh, the odds of getting pregnant from a BJ <laughs> equal Jane Doe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yep. Vanishing twins plus no intercourse. Yeah. What are the, the uh, we need, uh, we need, we need that guy in the wheelchair to do the math on that. It's miraculous. Although he died. It's miraculous conception. JFG and <laughs> JFG. My God. Uh, <laughs> thanks for thank you. Welcome. Thank you for I'm sorry. Thank you for the gifted membership. I I got laughing so much about cockroach cash. I, I went into the wrong spiel for it. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Jennifer, thanks for the two. My earlobes don't match. Am I pregnant? <laughs> According to Google in 1996, yes. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> Zon, thank you for the two dollars super sticker there. Thank you, I appreciate you, Shelly. Thanks for the five there with vanishing twin syndrome. You have to have another embryo in the sack to absorb the rest. I don't even oh. know like about this stuff. Just to be, I honest. don't either. I, I don't either. But I do know that I can't find any information online about second and third trimester vanishing twins. And so that makes me believe that this is a thing that either happens so rarely, there's no data on it or it doesn't happen. And we just don't have, no one writes about it because the very thought of it is so absurd. Well, that's all I can think, but I don't know. We'll find out. Mara says off topic. However, can we get a shout out from our hometown heroes of Jensen and Husa, uh, with the Syracuse police department and uh, where where is that awesome, Oswego uh, Oswego County? County I did department. not hear about this. Yeah, yeah I mean, is it's this terrible. The, me, was there a shooting? Out. There must have been a shooting. You know, General Tuggernaut said he got locked in his doctor's office today because of an active shooter. I wonder if that was that one. I'm looking it up. Yeah, I'm looking it up too. That's it's terrible not... too. I mean, it it. <sighs> All of the, it, it's crazy in the media because you get all of the negatives that are always highlighted and it glosses over the, you know, when, when something tragic happens like this in the line of duty. Syracuse is in New York. Oh my God, Oswego County is here by me. I think it's not that far. Uh, hold on. Let me look. I'm looking at names. Why is it not trending on Twitter? I'm not seeing anything. Oh, here's funeral services. I looked up a article for the. Oh, I just services. went to Twitter because usually Jensen. if there's a shooting, it's always on Twitter. Let me try Syracuse. The shooting in Salina, S L I S A L I N A, Salina. Hmm. I was trying to see if they told what happened. That's terrible. Oh, man. here we go. Here it is. Uh, okay. Bob Lonsbury was reporting about it. I don't know what it is, though. It, it just says this is the face of American law enforcement and officer salutes in Syracuse, New York, as the bodies of a Syracuse police officer and an Onondaga sheriff, sheriff's deputy are taken from the emergency department of Upstate University Medical Center. So something must have happened at the medical center. 
and I do not know what. It does. Hundreds of officers and first responders line the entrance to Upstate University Hospital as the bodies of a fallen officer and deputy left in procession. The two officers were killed Sunday night in a shootout on a suburban street in Syracuse. How terrible. That's terrible. It's tragic for the families. Tragic for the I mean, just terrible. Yeah, so love to their families and support there too. Yeah, so. that's that's awful. I got a singer behind me. Oh, you singing <laughs> and and bingo is the name of? Is that what you're singing? Hey, do you know that fish song? That one, two, three, four, five. Do you know that song? Two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did the fish bite me. Yeah, then I let it go again, right? I let it go again. Yeah. Why did you let it go? Do you remember that? So, why did you let it go? Cause what? Bite my finger. Yeah, cause it bite my finger. So, which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right? Yeah, exactly. I don't I like have a thumb. <laughs> I don't have a thumb. It ate your thumb? No. <gasps> I don't have a thumb. I Ask her if she have, has toe thumbs. Do you have toe thumbs? <laughs> yeah, she's looking at her she's looking at her toes and trying to see. <laughs> no, I don't have I have normal toes. Oh, you have normal toes? Okay. I'll, I'll normal sure toes. That's, that's good to know. Toes. It's good yeah, to know. I'm glad. Okay. I go upstairs. I'll be done Can in a few minutes. You hear me? I want some pizza bites. Okay. Well, I'll make some in a minute. Oh, right. some pizza bites. Oh, she's a lucky yeah. girl. You're going to pull out those pizza bites. I got to yep. eat too. I'm starving. Let's wrap this up. I'm hungry. I got two more. I got two more. <laughs> Lindsay, thanks for the two. Jerry Springer is real. Indeed. That is very true. He's on. Thanks for the two. Tell Shardy to come back on and hit the link. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to, I'm going to song us out. So awesome. Let me find a song to out on. I'm trying to find something that it. Maybe I'll do a hat rack song. You know, yeah. Let's do live from the hat rack. All right, here we go. I'm out. <laughs> Appreciate you all. Appreciate you, Megan. Love you, Tug. Oh, much love to you back. It's been great. It's been fun, and God knows what we'll get into next time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go.